Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel today I'm going to be showing you how to be a firefighter on LSPFR for this current version uh, ladies and gentlemen subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and smash that like button for me also make sure you click the bell and click off so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live as we do live stream five days a week over here on the criminal justice channel Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget that I do have a dedicated Discord team that can help you with all of your LSP4 GT5 issues. Um, I will link the Discord here in the video right now. Uh, be sure you get with them, guys. Uh, please do not leave your troubleshooting uh, comments in the comments section of this, as this only prolongs your game getting fixed. Go join my Discord and give my support team instead as they have more time to help you. Also, at the end of the video, I'll be linking my CJ Farms channel, which is my second channel, where I do all farming simulator related content. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with this video. All right, guys and girls. So today, uh, let me go ahead and cut this. Uh, let me go ahead and cut this music off here. Uh, all right, guys and girls. So today, we're gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to be a firefighter and EMS on LSPFR. There's a certain amount of plugins, open IV modifications, callouts, etc., that you have to have for this um, to to be a firefighter on LSP4. Uh, needless to say, it does not require near as many plugins, callouts, or open IV modifications as being a police officer does. So, with that being said, first and foremost, we are going to install the base mods. Now, before I get started, I have had a little bit of backlash on. Um, the way I install LSPFR and Rage plugin hook. Just know, guys, that when I show you how to install this stuff, it is always for the best interest of you. Um, I would not show you how to install this stuff, and I would not, I would not show you how to install it this way if it did not work for me myself. The way I'm showing you how to install Rage plugin hook and LSPFR is how I've done it uh, recently, and my files run flawlessly, almost flawlessly. Now you're always going to have, you know crashes here and there with your LSP4 but for the most part my game runs flawlessly okay so with that being said and that out of the way let's go ahead and get into this guys click the first link down there for script hook V we are doing this in a specific order for a specific reason okay what you want to do is scroll down right here we are on version 2372.0 all right you want to go right here below that where it says download and click download right there and then just put it somewhere where you know how to get to it, guys. As long as you know how to get to your files, that's all that matters, okay? On to the very next one is going to be community script hook v.net, all right? Now, before we go any further, guys, I do want to make sure that you all are installing a two programs, uh, two, one of each, or I mean a one or the other. Um, you can install either 7-Zip or WinRAR. These files are going to help you unzip these folders, okay? If you do not have those installed, then you're not going to be able to unzip these folders, and they're going to show up as like a little folder on your desktop, okay? And I'll explain all that in just a minute. Um, if you'll look at my desktop here, guys, you'll see how mine look. They kind of look like uh, three books with a belt around them. That's because I have WinRAR installed. That allows me to unzip my files, okay? Back to the downloading process. Go right here to Community Script Hook V.net, guys, and click Download right here. And move on to the next one. But just make sure, guys, you have either 7-Zip or WinRAR installed on your PC, or you will not be able to unzip these files, and you will not be able to grab the, the folders and I mean the files and drag and drop them. Okay, uh, without those those programs, you without one of those programs, you cannot do that. Okay, next one's going to be our Simple Trainer 13.5. Um, this was just updated two two hours ago. Actually, they updated it two hours ago. Nice. So I'm going to be downloading this version myself. Um, so we want to go down right here to where this this one is right here and click that little arrow down. So I'm going to download this one myself because I do not have this version. Um, so I'll be replacing the current version uh, with this version right here. Uh, once that is downloaded, guys and girls, let's go ahead and um, let's move on to the very next one. The next one is going to be our Rage Native UI. Now, this the reason I put this in here this time, guys, is because this is the most recently up-to-date Rage Native UI. This is the one that works. Now, if you have a more recently up-to-date one, that's awesome. But if you do not, for this tutorial, we're going to be installing this one. 
it is going to be 1.8.1 you want to go down here and you want to click if your assets is not open guys click assets and open it up and you want to click right here where it says rage native ui dot zip go ahead and click that it is now going to download your rage native ui dot dll okay let's move on to the very next one next one's going to be rage plugin hook now let me say this before anybody gets in a stir this has not been updated okay this has not been updated i'm not saying that everybody has to do it this way just to put that out in the open so that everybody knows exactly where i'm coming from i am simply doing it this way because this is the way that it worked for me therefore i'm going to do it for the way it works for you guys as well uh, if it works some other way let me know i'm always open to suggestions and i will always listen okay um, I am always open to suggestions like that, but for the meantime, we're going to do it like this because it works and this is how my files are being ran. Now, what you want to do is go right here and click download now, and then you want to click Grand Theft Auto 5 Legacy, and this is the most recent version right here, okay? The most recent version. Now, it has not been updated, but the, the Rage plugin hook in LSP4 is updated. There is a reason, in my opinion, why I believe we need this, okay? So let's go ahead and click download right here. And then once you get that, the very last one is going to be LSPD First Response 049 Build 7874. Go ahead and scroll down and click Download this file. Go, uh, scroll all the way down and click Agree and Download. And you want the manual install, guys. We're going to be doing the manual install. I will not be doing the auto install. I will be doing the manual install only. So make sure you click on the manual install, all right? So click Download here. Once you have all that downloaded, guys, we're going to go ahead and close out of our browser. And we are now going to locate our main game directory, okay? Doing this, we're going to go to our file explorer. You're going to go to this PC. And then you want to click on the hard drive in which you installed your Grand Theft Auto V, okay? After that, you're going to click Steam Library, Steam Apps, and Common, okay? Now, right here, the one that says Grand Theft Auto V, that is the one that you want, okay? I know, guys, I have a lot of copies you want the one that says Grand Theft Auto V. Now, if this is your only copy of Grand Theft Auto V, I hope to God it is unmodded. Because you want to do this on a clean copy. Do not install these. Do not include this with your police modded file. Do this on a completely separate file. Okay, guys? So what you want to do is go back. And if you guys went forward. But you want the one that says Grand Theft Auto V. Once you get it, you're going to right click. And if you do not have a copy of this, highlight it, right-click, click, copy, go down in here, left-click, right-click, and click paste. Once you do that, it is going to paste an exact replica of that copy so that you always have a clean backup in case anything goes wrong with your game, okay? Because if you do not have a backup copy of the only copy you have and you mess it up, you're going to have to delete the directory and uninstall and reinstall GT5, which takes a lot longer than just reinstalling LSPFR. So mark my word, guys. Make your backup copy. Back up your game files, okay? Um, so with that being said, once you get it done, go ahead back up here and highlight the one that says Grand Theft Auto V. Right-click, click Send To, and go to Desktop, Create Shortcut. Once you get that, close out of this, and you want to grab the shortcut here. And you just want to grab this shortcut here, and you want to pull it down to your File Explorer, and when it says Pin to File Explorer, just drop it in like that, okay? You will now have one that says Grand Theft Auto V shortcut, or it just say Grand Theft Auto V. Once you have that, click on it. It's going to open up your main directory, okay? Now, the first thing we are going to install is going to be our script hook V, all right? So let's open that up. All right, guys, so once we have this opened up, go ahead and double-click on Ben. And you literally need two files in here. You can go ahead and highlight them all if you want to, but hold down your control key and deselect the native trainer.asi. You only need the dinput 8.dll and the script hook v.net. I'm sorry, the script hook v.dll and the dinput 8.dll. Grab both of those files, pull them into your main directory. Make sure you are not highlighting anything. Do not highlight nothing, okay? You should be in Steam Apps, comment Grand Theft Auto 5. Once you pull these in, drag them and drop them okay once you get it go ahead and refresh it close out of this and get rid of that shortcut okay let me pull these up here real quick guys script hook v.net is up next guys you need three files in here you need the script hook v.net.asi hold down your control key and select the script hook v.net 2.dll 
and then hold it down again and, and select scripthookv.net3.dll. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. You need scripthookv.net.asi, scripthookv.net2.dll, and scripthookv.net3.dll. Once you have these three, grab them, pull them into your main directory, and drop them, okay? Once you drop them, refresh them. You always want to refresh the directory. You put everything in its place, okay? Close out of this and get rid of that shortcut, all right? Next up is going to be our, um, let me get the, let me get rid of this one because I downloaded the um, recent version. Once you guys get your, um, also, once you guys get your main directory pinned to your file explorer, you can grab that shortcut on your desktop and you can just kind of throw it in your recycle bin like that, okay? Uh, let me get my my trainer right here let me get the latest version there we go and then let me pull this out as well it's not going to ask you guys to do none of this i'm just doing this for myself here all right next up is going to be our trainer right there go ahead and open it up and you literally need the trainer v.ini and the trainer v.asi grab those two files pull them into your main directory like that and drop them okay again refresh okay close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Open up your rage native UI.dll. The only file in here that you're going to need is the rage native UI.dll. Grab that one. If you'll pull this out, guys, you will see this one is for 8 1 of 2021. It's recently updated, okay? So grab the rage native UI.dll only, pull it into your main directory, and drop it. We're going to need this for future plugins, okay? Go ahead and refresh the directory. Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. We're almost at the first part of this, guys. Almost. Open up your Rage plugin hook, okay? Now, I want you to highlight everything in here. The reason that I, in my opinion, I believe we need this is because all these other files right here are not, uh, I don't believe they're included in the LSPFR. Let me double check here. They might be and I might be wrong. If I'm wrong, then that's fine. I'll stand corrected. But... For the time being, guys, let's go ahead and we want to highlight everything in our Rage plugin hook all the way up to plugins, okay? Then you want to hold down your control key and deselect SDK and deselect the README text, okay? So you don't need the two dots, you don't need the license, you don't need the SDK, and you don't need the README, okay? You do not need none of that. The ones you have highlighted is the ones that you need. Grab them. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, guys. I'm so sorry about that. Let me, let me do that one more time. Let me do it again. No license, no SDK, no README. Grab all these files right here that you have highlighted. Pull them in your main directory just like this and simply drop them in, okay? Now, everything you just everything you just put in is highlighted in blue, okay? If you'll notice, the Rage plugin hook is here, but that's not the version we need. Just to be clear, that is not the version we are using, okay? We're going to override it. All right, once you got it, go ahead and refresh your directory. Close out of that WinRAR and get rid of that shortcut. Last but not least is going to be LSP of our 049. Let's go ahead and go in here and you can just simply, uh, we'll highlight everything. Actually, we'll do it like this. Just click in here somewhere, guys, and click left control A as an atom. And then hold down the control key, deselect the dots, deselect the license, and then scroll down and deselect the RPH readme. We do not need those readmes, okay? Now, everything else that's highlighted, so no dots, no license, no RPH readme. Everything else that's highlighted, grab it and drag them and drop them. Now, when you drop them, it's going to ask you to replace the 14 files in the destination. Okay, pull it in, drag it, and drop it. Okay, we are going to replace the files, guys. All right, there it goes. Let me move this over here. It's going to ask us to replace the 14 files and the destination right there. Go ahead and replace them because we want to replace that Rage plugin hook and the other files in there. So even if you're installing, you know, even if the files are the same, we are overriding all of those files with the newer files. So it doesn't really matter. OK, uh, but like I said, I'm doing it this way because I know it works. and I would never, ever steer you guys wrong. OK, let's close out of that and get rid of that shortcut make sure you refresh that directory now we have to manipulate we're going to have to manipulate our um we're going to to manipulate our lspfr files so go over to your main directory and click on lspfr double click and then you want to go into the keys all right 
Let's go ahead and get this up real big. Now, the first thing I want you to do is highlight that word none as we are going to be using it a lot and hit left control C as in Charles, okay? That's going to copy that word. Now, remember that we are modding this file um, to fit a firefighter, okay, and an EMS. And this is not for a police modded file, okay? I do have tutorials on that if you wanna if you wanna check that out. Um, I'll link them somewhere here in the video. All right. So with that being said, we got that highlighted. Uh, we do want to keep the top one of uh, the top pursuit key just in case a pursuit breaks out. Uh, you have that key to terminate the pursuit. Okay. Now down here on the next one that says pursuit menu controller key equals D-pad right uh, D-pad down. Sorry about that. Highlight the D-pad down and hit Control V as in Victor to paste the word none. Okay. Let's go on down here, and then right here where it says crime report, control key equals right thumb. Uh, we'll actually just keep that right there. We'll keep that right there. Um, let me just, I'm going to scroll through this as fast as I can, guys. I'm going to try to get through it. Uh, right here where it says perform arrest, key equals E. We can go ahead and change that to an I, just in case you need it to detain somebody, or you want to question somebody about, you know, a fire, or, you know, a, a down suspect, or you know, a victim that's been overdosed or anything like that, you can use these for that, okay? Uh, but for the most part, we're going to be using Stop the Pad for that, okay? So let's go on down here, and um, we'll leave that the same. Um, let's see here. Let me get on down through here. Perform for risk. Uh, D-pad left. Okay, right here, guys, where it says Stop, pad, stop Pads equal key equals E. Highlight that E and change it to a capital I. It has to be a capital I. Make sure you change them exactly the way that I do, because if you do, your mods will never clash, okay? Just change them the way that I'm changing them, okay? That way, they don't they don't clash on you. I've been doing this for a long time, guys, a very long time. Um, let's see, stop pads, controller equals D-pad, right? We'll leave it the same. Okay, now right here, guys, very important. Chase abort join equals, uh, chase abort join key equals G. Highlight the G and hit control V to put in the word none. And then same for down here where it says chase abort join controller key equals d-pad left. Highlight the d-pad left and hit control V. All right. And then let me highlight this part so I know where I left off. All right. And then um, we want to keep the call out. We want to keep that there. All right. Now right here where it says traffic stop start uh, controller key equals A. Highlight that A and hit control V. All right. Traffic stop interact right here, guys. Highlight that E and change that to a capital I, okay? And then the one down here below it for traffic stop interact controller key equals D-pad right. You want to highlight the D-pad right and hit control V, all right? Because we are not going to need that. Uh, but if it is, you know, then you have the I there to walk up to the subject's car and talk to them if you need to question them about anything. It's there, but more than likely, we're not going to need it. If we need that, we'll use stop the peds, so, which is why we're changing a lot of these keys, okay? Let me scroll on down through here and see. Okay, right here, guys, where it says toggle police computer controller key equals X. Go ahead and highlight the X and hit control V, all right? Um, right here, ladies and gentlemen, where it says backup menu controller key equals right, uh, right thumb. Sorry about that, right thumb. Highlight right thumb and hit control V, okay? And then I think that's pretty much it for this part, guys. If we do happen to miss anything, when I go into game, if I see that we missed anything, we will come back and manipulate the file again. But I'm pretty sure we got everything. Uh, let's go ahead and go into uh, File and click Save, okay? There we go. We got it. Now, the next thing we want to do is go down here to LSPFR, the configuration setting, the INI file, open it up. And right here, the first thing we want to do, guys, is highlight this word false right here and hit Control C to copy it. Then go up here to where it says main preload all models and highlight true and hit Control V to paste it, okay? All right, now let's see here. Um, so go right here where this, the word true is, highlight it and hit Control C to copy it. And then down here where it says ambient dot disable escape suspect encounter equals false highlight that false and hit control v to put true now down here uh which we won't be chasing any subjects okay we won't be chasing nobody because we're not a cop we're, we're a firefighter and an and ems but right here where it says chase dot disable 
camera focus equals false. Highlight that false and hit control V to put true. Because just in case something happens that a pursuit goes by you, it's going to turn your focus onto that suspect automatically. No matter which way you turn the camera, it's going to make you look at that suspect, okay? That right there um, will will disable that uh, feature in the game. Shout out to my uh, brother, Jeffrey Gamer. My brother! Because he is the one that showed me that, all right? That is my boy, our boy, Jeffrey Gamer. Uh, all right, guys, I think that's pretty much it. Later on, we'll come back to this file and manipulate more. Uh, once we install our plugins, once we get it, guys, once you got everything changed, go ahead and click file and click save. All right, close out. All right, and we're going to move this over here. You want your directory on your left here or however you want to do it and then go back and refresh it. And then we want to scroll down in our main directory and we want to highlight. Now, if you'll notice now, if you highlight rage plugin hook, it doesn't say 186. This is 1.87 because we overwrote the file along with every other file in here that was included in the older rage we overwrote it with the new files that was in the lspfr okay it will make sense guys trust me it will make sense eventually all right rage plugin hook you want to highlight that right click and you want to send to desktop create shortcut okay once you get it go ahead and refresh your directory close out all right you want to take this Rage Plugin Hook shortcut, and I will show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and unpin mine. Go ahead and take this Rage Plugin shortcut right here and pull it down to your taskbar and just pin it in. Trust me, guys, you want this in your taskbar. You do. All right. Once you get that, you can take the one on your desktop right here and you can just throw it in your cycle bin. Now, next up, go ahead and empty out your cycle bin, guys. It's very important that we keep this emptied out. All right. Let's delete that. Close out of that. First time rage setup, guys. First time rage setup. This is very important that we go to this, okay? So go ahead and click on rage. Also, guys, before we go any further, before we do that, make sure that all of your antivirus is off. Your virus and threat, threat protection and your firewall and network protection is off. Make sure it is all off, okay? Now, with that being said, go ahead and click on rage. All right? Now, right here, guys, all we got to do is just click accept. This is the critical message right here. Rage plugin hook can back up your current game version so you can revert to it in case a new version breaks modding functionality. This backup will require about 1,150 megabytes of disk storage. Do you wish to back up your game now? Now, let me say this. What that means is when GTA 5 updates, like the previous update we just had, right? When GT5 updates, Rage Plugin Hook allows you to revert your game back so you can still play while waiting on LSPFR, Script Hook V, and Rage Plugin Hook to update, okay? So that's what this is for, guys. Please click yes, okay? If you click no, do not come crying to my channel. Do not come crying to me. Click yes, guys. <laughs> click yes. All right. I can't tell you how many times I've said that. I hope you guys are having a great week, man. I hope you guys are having where you want to be in life. I hope that you all are in consistent prayer with God or some kind of meditation, as it is always good to do that. I hope you guys are um, spending time with loved ones today. Today is Sunday, by the way, for me. Uh, it is Sunday here, and uh, it's a beautiful day. Now, on your plug-in timeout. Now, if this window, keep in mind, if this window here does not pop up after we just went through those steps, all you have to do to pop this window up is click your rage and immediately hold down the left shift key and keep holding it down until this window pops up, okay? If it doesn't pop up, then you can do that, okay? Right here on plug-in timeout threshold. Now, for me, for my personal use, I'm going to change that 1 to a 2. Mine's going to be set at 20,000. Now, I'm going to tell you exactly what my support team would tell you to do, okay? Put your plug-in timeout threshold at 60,000. What is this plug-in timeout threshold for? It allows your plugins to have more time to load into the game as LSP4 and Rage Plugin Hook is hooking and loading in, okay? Mine is set at 20,000, okay? Set yours to 60. Now, if you know yours for a fact, it works at 10, 20, 30, whatever it may be, you can set it like that. But for the, for the majority of you, I want you all to set this to 60,000. So you want to change that to, I mean that one, to a, I'm sorry, to a six like that, okay? Mine's going to be on a 2. So mine is on 20,000. Now we're going to go over to plugins. And we're going to go to low pl these plugins on startup and click LSPD first response. Then go back up and click load all plugins on startup. 
All right, let me go over to game settings and check. One thing in my command line switches, I just want to make sure nothing's ticked. All right, nothing is ticked. Let me click that back up. All right, now go right here, guys, to revert game version. This is in your game settings, okay? If you ever need to back up your game version, you can always come into here. Or actually, you can go into where it says backup game version. If you're not sure if your game is backed up or not, you can always come here and go to backup current version. Click it, and it will back up your version that quick. It's that fast. The click of a button, guys. All right. In revert game version right here, when the game updates, it will tell you that, that the 2372 has an option to now revert. The updated version will be the one above it, okay? But the one for 2372 will say revert. You want to click that revert when the game updates, okay? Not right now, just when the game updates. Let's go ahead and close out of that. Let me check this. And we are we are clear to save and launch. And then let me check one more thing here real quick, guys. I want to make sure my controller is set to GTA 5. So I have a certain way I set up my controller. Okay, it is set. Now, right here, this settings is just telling you exactly what I told you all ago. That if you want to pull up the Rage settings window, the one that we were just on, you would just click Rage and then hold down the left shift immediately and hold it down until that box pops up, okay? So let's go ahead and click OK. The game is now going to launch, okay? Congratulations, guys. You have went through the first part of this long tutorial because this is going to be a lengthy tutorial. We have a lot of mods to install, a lot of plugins, uh, open IV modifications, uh, requirements, callouts. So, but like I said, it's not. It doesn't take near as many plugins or callouts on a firefighter file as it does a police mod file. Uh, this is just something that I figured out along the way myself. Um, and I, I figured, well, why would I need Compuli? Why do I need, you know, uh, why do I need, um, why, do, why would I need stuff like Compuli to be a firefighter, right? Why would I need something like Speed Radar like to be a firefighter? You don't need those plugins. All you need is the basic plugin, stop the bed, you know, ultimate backup, stuff like that. So certain plugins that you use for a police fi uh, file, you would not need for a firefighter file. With that being said, I will see you all inside of uh, LSPFR, and we're gonna set, we're gonna create our character, and we're gonna go on duty for the first time. So I will see you all once we are inside of the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So once we are loaded into the game, and if you spawn into the game as either Franklin, uh, yeah, Franklin, Trevor, or Michael, uh, which you're more than likely going to with your first install of LSPFR on a clean copy, um, what you want to do is you want to go to the pause menu. And you want to go over to where it says LSPUFR. All right. And then you want to click on that. And you want to go down, uh, click on character, and then click on go to nearest police station. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Once we have that, it's going to load us to the police station. Whatever police station you're at, if you will hit the pause menu, guys, and pull up the map, you will now notice that there's a bunch, bunch, <clears throat> a bunch of police stations all over the map here. You will see them all over the map. All right, that means you have LSP4 successfully installed, okay? Once you get the police station you want, walk up the door and hit E to go in. There we go. <clears throat> All right, now it's going to ask us to um, go on duty for the first time, okay? Once you're in here, guys, go ahead and click Enter to go on duty. <laughs> I said duty. Uh... <sighs> All right, guys. Uh, you need a character to use LSPFR. Would you like to go to the character selection menu now? Click enter to click OK. That's what you want to do. You are now going to create your firefighter character. This is going to be like your hair, your you know your look, your eye color, your name, and all that good stuff. All right. Once you're in here, go ahead and pick what gender you want to be. All right, and then go down to Heritage. My LSPFR mommy and daddy are uh, Camellia and Claude. There's Claude right there. I put all my resemblance toward my dad and then I put my skin tone uh, about right Shire. Okay and then we're gonna go back. Once you get it you go back. You don't have to select the ones I have guys. You can select whoever you want okay. Just just keep that in mind. I don't want that to be unclear. So select who you want. Get your character the way you want it and then uh, once you got it go back and then go down to features and you can adjust these the way you want, guys. But the easiest way to do this is just to set all these to standard. That's how I have done it since I've been playing LSPFR. Um, it's just easier to do it like that. It's a lot quicker. 
Once you have them all set, go back. Go to appearance. This is going to be your hairstyle, hair color, all that good stuff. I'm going to pick our hairstyle, which is going to be right there. And then we're going to do our eyebrows. And then I'm going to do my beard here. Um, and there is also skin blemishes, aging complexion, and there's also makeup for the ladies down here. Uh, now, uh, the only other thing I ever tell you here, guys, is my eye color from green to emerald, okay? And once you get everything you want the way you want it, go ahead and click backspace. And then go down to save and continue and click enter. Alright, this is where you're going to name your character. Just hit backspace. And I'm going to name my guy... Leo Justice. <laughs> Leo Justice right there, guys. Once you got it, click enter. And then you want to you want to click on your character. Not, not the presets, not those. The one that says your name. Go ahead and click enter on that. It's going to take you back over to the police locker, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know a lot of you have been asking me about this. Um, I will also be doing a full install tutorial for the police mod file as well on this. All plugins and callouts included. Um, all plugins included, not callouts, but plugins will be. Um, so, police locker. Click on police locker. And then make sure the agency is set to LSPD. Go down to outfit and go to your right once. All right. Then, if you want sunglasses, you can go down to advanced customization. Click enter. Go to props. Go down to Prop 1, click Enter, and then go over until you get the sunglasses you want. I like the aviators, and then if you want to change the, the color of the sunglasses, go down to Texture, and use your arrows to change the texture of them, okay? I'm going to select those. Once you get it, click Back, Back, Back one more time, and go down and click Enter on Confirm, and then go down to Police Garage and click Enter. Alright guys, I think I could do this with my eyes closed and my... I could do it hogtied. I could teach I could teach a grandmother how to install LSP before I could do it. Go down to components, guys, and uh, click on components. Now we're doing this because we want at least one ELS car to test our ELS when we install um, ELS, which is emergency lighting system. Okay, so the way that you make the there's only one vanilla car in LSP4 that is ELS compatible, okay? But you have to make it that way. It is going to be the Vapid Police Cruiser right here, okay? Um, this should be a uh, Police Cruiser. And uh, go down to Components. The way you make it ELS compatible is go down to Components. And then make sure both components are off, okay? If either one of these are on, okay? If either one of them are on, it will not be ELS compatible, okay? So make sure you got both of those off. Once you got it, go back. Go down to modifications, click enter, and then click apply all. Go back and click save and continue. I mean, sorry, select and continue. All right. Now, we're going to be on duty for the first time. Now, we don't necessarily need to pull anybody over, but if you guys want to make sure it works, you're more than welcome to go out here and go on duty. And uh, to turn on your lights, okay, for keyboard users, it's going to be the E on your keyboard. For controller users, it's going to be left thumbstick click, okay? Now... <clears throat> if you have your lights on and you want to go code 2, which means lights, no sirens, hit the J. J is in John on your keyboard. Hit the J. It will turn your sirens off. I know a lot of people probably don't know that trick, but there is little uh, tips and tricks um, to the trade here that... Uh, <laughs> pros and cons, guys. Pros and cons. All right. Now, if, you, if you want to turn... Now, if you guys want to accept that call out, you would hit D-pad left or Y on the keyboard, Okay. Now, if you want to turn your sirens back on, hit the J again, J is in John, and then just hit the E or left thumbstick, click on your controller to turn the lights off. Now, we're going to set up our simple trainer. So, we're going to hop out of our car in the pouring rain. We're going to hit F3 on the keyboard. All right, we're going to go. Well, first thing we want to do is clear up this rain. So, we're going to go down to weather. All right, now the way you navigate through your simple trainer is very simple it's with your numpad. Make sure your num lock is on or it will not work. I can't tell you how many times people have come to me and be like, well, my simple trainer won't work. It's not letting me navigate through it with my num pad because your num lock was not on. So many folks have made this mistake. So make sure your num lock is on. Um, you want to go down to weather and the way you navigate is you eight will go up, two will go down, five will select, six goes right, and four goes left, okay? So eight goes up, two goes down, five select, six goes right, four goes left. All right, now we're gonna go to force weather and we're gonna, we're just gonna enable that by clicking five and put it on extra sunny, okay? Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to options, all right? 
Now, this is going to be your God mode. Now, being a firefighter, I will be in God mode. On my police amount of file, I am not in God mode, okay? Um, so we're going to go on over to in infinite stamina. These are things that you want to select, okay? Infinite stamina, make sure you enable that. God mode is completely up to you, all right? Once you get this, hit six to go over. All units, we I have really cannot stand when he does that. And Give me one second, guys. If you want to turn your calls off in vanilla, hit M on the keyboard. M is in mother. Go down to police radio, click enter, go to available for calls, and just change that to no, okay? That's all you got to do. Let's go hit F3 again and go back in our simple trainer. F3, F is in Frank. Go to options. Go back, uh, hit six to go over. Oh my God, dude. Quit opening that door, broski. All right, and now we are going to enable... We're going to uh, hit 8 to go up. We want to scroll over. See that right there, guys, where it says Safe Settings to Trainer V.INI? Anytime you make setting your uh, changes in your trainer, you want to come back here and click 5. Click 5 again, and it will save your settings, okay? You want to do that. It saves in the INI file in your main directory, okay? Now, we want to go up. Click 8 to go up, and you want to enable short Show Fort Zancudo and Prison on Map. Also, you want to enable Reveal Full Map, all right? Now, let's go back over. Again, guys, save settings to trainer V.INI. Click 5 to save it. Now, we want to hit 0 to go back. We want to go down to vehicle options. This is going to be vehicle god mode. We are going to enable vehicle god mode. Now, if you want your vehicle to be clean at all times, go down to vehicle god mode settings. Okay? And then go right there where it says auto clean and enable it. Don't worry, guys. It doesn't override anything. It never does. Okay? Click 0 to go back. Go back up to click 0 again. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do not do that. Um, hit 6 to go over. And let me do this one more time. So go into vehicle options, guys. Click 6 to go over. And then you want to enable vehicle speed boost right there. Enable that. And then you want to enable infinite boost right there. And then go up to power, engine power multiplier right there. Enable that. Go down to set engine power multiplier. And uh, we're going to leave this at 40 because our... Actually, we're going to move this to about 70. Put it on 70. Go back. Uh, with the zero, go, the zero goes back, guys. Click zero to go back. Click zero to go back again. Go up to options. Click five. Go over to save trainings. Uh, save settings to trainer.ini. Uh, trainer save those settings, guys. Go out. Go back into options. Go over with six. And then go over to set menu colors font okay because we want to set our colors um, for our menu right here okay so we can see it a little better I like to set mine to cyan and lawn green that's exactly what I'm gonna do here let me find it um, there it's hard to see it man it's really hard to see it so change yours to whatever you want to change it to guys there's my cyan and then the next one's going to be your actual text color I'm gonna change mine to lawn green actually you know what no this is my firefighter file we're going to change the first one. We're going to change the first one to red. Going to change it to red if I can find that red. There's a real bright red. There it is right there. Red. And then I'm going to change the second one to, I think it's gold. I think it is gold. Let me go ahead and highlight it up a little bit because I can barely see that. There it is. Gold right there. Once you got it, guys, go back. Uh, go over to trainer, uh, save settings to trainerv.ini and save it. You always want to save your settings, guys. Always. All right. Once you got it, go out. And now we are going to go to time. This is your time scale where you can set things to noon, afternoon, evening, night. You can go ahead one hour, back one hour. Uh, you can seek the time with the with your computer system where it's in real time duration as well. Freeze time and freeze game. Freeze time is just, for example, if I want to go to, let's say, right there, okay, and I want the time to stick where it is and not move, I would hit freeze time on that, and the time would stay there for as long as I have it enabled, okay? So we're going to unenable that. We're going to take it down to dark time a little bit so we can see our flashlight, all right? And I'm going to freeze the time there, okay? Once we get it, go down to weapons, guys. Go down to weapons, and you want to enable unlimited ammo because when you have a fire extinguisher... If you do not have unlimited uh, ammo enabled, your fire extinguisher will run out, okay? So if you don't want it to run out, enable unlimited ammo. We want to go, uh, make sure we go up to remove all weapons. Never, 
ever by any means do you ever click get all weapons it will crash your game every single time okay never click get all weapons guys don't do that all right let's go down and click remove all weapons okay that one we can click let's go on down now we're getting wet we're getting stuff for a firefighter not a police officer remember that all right now um we already have a parachute i believe yeah we do um we want to get um let's go ahead and we want to get a crowbar okay and then we want to get a hatchet and then we want to get a flashlight now if you want to open carry or conceal carry or whatever it is that you want to do as i do on the game i will add a pistol to my um i will add a pistol to to my to my weapons okay i'll add a pistol to it um now the next thing we want to do we got our crowbar we got our hatchet we got our flashlight did we get our flashlight yeah we did we got our flashlight okay all right so once we got that we want to go on down and you want to get yourself a flare gun so when choppers come over and you're doing fire call outs you can then pop a flare in the air and they will know exactly where you are. everybody's gonna freak out don't worry about it all right and you're gonna hit six to go over and next we are going to get ourselves a um, jerry can and we're going to get a fire extinguisher okay now once you have now if you spray that guys you'll see up at the top right corner it does not run out okay which is what we want okay put that away now let's hit the four to go back over and you want to go over to um you want to go over to uh if, if you did get a pistol and you want to add a flashlight modification then go to weapons attachment and tint menu and then open up your weapon wheel and select that pistol go to the flashlight enable it just like that and there you go I don't think you do any modifications to this yeah but your pistol you can put different attachments if you'd like um, there's a suppressor right there um, it's, it's it's all kinds of stuff guys but I just enable the flashlight um, as you can see right there <clears throat> once you have it sorry about that guys once you have it go back and then you want to go down to weapons load forward slash save menu all right click on that and click save all weapons to slot one now from now on when you come into the game all right you can go up to load all weapons to slot one and it will load every single weapon that you just put in now if you will check you will see that you have a crowbar a hatchet and a flashlight in your melee weapons over here you'll have a fire extinguisher and a jerry can okay one thing we did forget to get guys open up your simple trainer again go back to weapons um and uh let's see where they are i have our time let's go back over hit six to go over and you want to enable flares guys you always want to have some flares handy um go back over once you put those in go back to weapons load save menu go back up to save all weapons to slot one and save it all right guys you now have all of your weapons saved as a firefighter okay um, now uh, once you get that go all the way back out go back up to options as always like I said and save the settings guys save the settings all right there we go um, I think that's pretty much it for part one of this tutorial guys um, if you want to you're more than welcome to go ahead and test out your weapons here um, I do like to do an open carry because sometimes there will be those random peds that pull out guns and start shooting you for no reason um, When you're spraying a fire extinguisher uh, They'll want come want to come up and fight you and all you got to do at that point is just pull your gun and It will just scare everybody away and if you fire around They're definitely gonna get out of the way. They're all gonna start rushing so with that being said guys That is pretty much it for this part of the tutorial now a lot of people ask me Jesus Christ God Almighty a lot of people ask me, I get this question a lot about, CJ, how do you make your character stand with his hands on his belt? This is the way you do it. You're going to hit M, M as in Mary or mother, however you want to say it. Hit the M on your keyboard and go down. You want to scroll all the way down to walk style and scroll over until you get to cop. Okay, he will then stand with his hands on his belt. That's literally all I do, guys. That is literally all I do, all right? Um, now right here in police radio you can go there and change your shoulder and your animation for your your walk your uh, Dispatch communication you can change that from handheld to earpiece to chest to shoulder and trust me guys They all work. Okay, let me go ahead and enable my calls I'm gonna exit back out 
And uh, that is it for part one of this tutorial, guys. I just wanted to install the base mods. We're going to go back and we're going to start installing some plugins. So I will see you all back on the desktop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back on the desktop. We're going to be uh, doing our uh, install plugins here. This will be part one of two for the installation of the plugins and scripts. Um, so, now I don't know if I told you guys a while ago when we dropped our main directory into our file explorer. And if I didn't tell you guys that, I do deeply apologize. The way you access that after it's dropped in there is you're going to go down to your file explorer tab here and you're going to right click. Okay, and it will pull up all of your, everything you have pinned to your file explorer. And you're going to select the one that says Grand Theft Auto 5 or the one that says Grand Theft Auto 5 shortcut, okay? Once you click it, it will pull up your main directory that you're modding in. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and minimize that. And we're going to be installing everything you see here, excluding, uh, you guys will not be installing this one right here. This is something I have for my own personal use. Uh, but everything else that you see here from the bottom all the way to the top, we're going to be installing. So let's go ahead and click the first link down there for open all interiors. Now we are going to need this um, for um, cases of when we, when we go to fires, um, any kind of calls that has an interior call, you are going to need this. Uh, so once you are here, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and click download right here and put it somewhere again where you know how to get to it. All right. And next up is going to be clear the way v now for those of you that have never heard of clear the way v what this is this is a plugin you put into your game and when you go code three um down the highway the traffic tends to move out of your way a little bit better okay uh once you're here ladies and gentlemen scroll down and click download this file right here and then on to the next one is going to be call out manager all right, and this is, trust me, guys, I'll show you how all this stuff works inside of the game once we get there. Go ahead and scroll down and click download this file right here. On to the very next one is going to be our custom environmental lighting for ELS. This is going to make our lights pop just a little bit brighter, okay? Scroll down. Uh, here's a preview here you can watch, guys, but I'm going to show you how it all works in the game, okay? Click download this file right here. Moving on to the very next one is going to be ambient effects. This is going to make our smoke and our fires burn a lot uh, better and make our smoke look a lot more realistic, okay? Uh, along with the fires as well. Go ahead and click download right here. Moving on to the next one is going to be emergency lighting system or as a lot of you know it, as ELS, okay? ELS right here done by Lieutenant Kine. Alright, so scroll down, click download the file right here. Moving on to the very next one is going to be Better ELS Reflections. Alright, this is done by Mr. Matthew Skeed, who has also made myself, along with Jeffrey Gamer, contributors to the mod. So thank you, Matthew. We appreciate that. If you guys will look here, you will see a, few, a couple of my screenshots. This is my screenshot, and that is also my screenshot there. If you go back, this is Jeffrey Gamer's screenshot. You always know Jeffrey's but by his graphics. This, These screenshots, I did not have any graphic mods in the game at the time. I was just building my file. Uh, but there's good Jeffrey's right there. You can see it. I think that's Jeffrey's right there, too. Uh, but anyway, guys, nonetheless, scroll down. And uh, big shout out to Matty's Ball right there, man, for his tutorials. He's all over LSPFR.com. Go ahead and click download file, this file right here, guys and girls. Click that one. Once we have everything downloaded... Uh, to our desktop, which is where I recommend you put them. Go ahead and open up your GTA 5 main directory. Again, you want to go to your file explorer, right click, and then click on your GTA 5 main directory right there. All right, and the first thing we're going to do is open up our Open All Interiors WinRAR, and you want to highlight everything in here. Hold down the Control key and deselect that README, okay? Deselect that. Grab both of these right here, the Open Interiors.asi and the Open Interiors.ini. Pull them into your main directory like this. And just simply drop them in, okay? Uh, as always, refresh. Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Next up is going to be our automatic siren cutout. Do open it up. Double click on Grand Theft Auto 5. And then you want to grab both of these files right here inside of the WinRAR. Pull them into your main directory like this and drop them in, okay? Refresh it. Close out of this. 
and delete. All right. Let me let me pull these up. Now remember, guys, this uh, this last one I have down here is going to be for my own personal use. That's just for me. Um, next up is clear the wavy, guys. Go ahead and open that up. And if you notice, it's only a .dll file. So go over to your main directory and navigate to your plugins. Double click on plugins. And this is where you want to be right here. Grab that clear the way .dll, clear the way v .dll, and pull it into your plugins folder and drop it in like that. And then refresh it. See how it kind of puts it up there. Then go back to your main directory. We can close out of that and get rid of the shortcut. These installations go pretty quickly, guys. We can usually get it done pretty quick. Call out managers next. Open that up. Grab the plugins folder only. Pull it into your main directory, guys. Now, at this point, make sure you are back at Steam Apps Common Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Make sure that you're not in your plugins folder. Make sure you're in this pathway right here, okay? Your pathway is your lifeline, guys and girls. It is your lifeline. Grab the plugins folder from your WinRAR. Pull it in your main directory like this and drop it, okay? Then refresh, close, and delete. All right, next up is going to be custom environmental lighting. Okay, this is the one we're going to need right here, the custom environmental lighting.dll. Now, no, this does, not, this does not go into your plugins. You're going to go over here in your main directory, okay? As you can see, I do not have a scripts folder. We're going to go into our main directory over here in the white area, which is what Jeffrey calls the buffer zone, okay? You're going to go in here, and you're going to right-click. You're going to click New, and you're going to click Folder, and you're going to simply... Oh, sorry about that, guys. Let me highlight that. You're going to simply just name this scripts, just the way you see it right there. Once you get it, guys, hit refresh or hit F5. That'll refresh it, too. It needs to be just like that, guys, all lowercase, S-C-R-I-P-T-E-S, okay? Once you get it, open it up, and then you want to grab this custom environmental lighting.dll and pull it into your scripts folder. You should be in Steam Apps Common. Grand Theft Auto 5 scripts. Go ahead and just drop it in there like that. Close out of this and get rid of that shortcut. Next up is going to be our ambient effects. Open that up. Grab the ambient effects.dll. Pull it in your scripts folder and drop it. Okay. Close out of that and delete it. All right. Now, what we want to do next, I'm going to install this personal mod here real quick, guys. Give me one second. Let me install this. This is the mod for my personal use. This is what I use to do on my thumbnails and stuff with, so let me uh, manipulate this file real quick. I meant to actually pull that over here. Let me just change that real quick, all right? Okay, now I'm done with that. Let me close out and save it. All right, now we're done. All right, once you're done here, guys, you can go ahead and refresh it and then go back to your main directory. Now, uh, let me get rid of this. Um, so... You now should be in Steam Apps Common Grand Theft Auto 5. I just want to make this very clear so that you're not in the wrong pathway because when I switch pathways a lot of times, people fail to go back and will start dropping stuff in. Then every, before you know it, everything's messed up. So make sure you are in Steam Apps Common Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? Open up your ELS WinRAR. Click on Installation Files. Click on Grand Theft Auto 5. Grab everything in here, all right? Just what you see right there. Grab this, drag it into your main directory, and drop it in like that, okay? Just like that. Get rid of all that, and open up your better ELS reflections. Double click on the folder. Double click on the folder again. You wanna, do, you wanna click on brighter, and then you want brighter plus brighter takedowns, okay? You're gonna grab this ELS I and I, you're going to pull it into your main directory just like this, and you're going to drop it, okay? And then you're going to replace it. You want to replace that INI, all right? Okay, let's close out of that. Now, personally, myself, I will install 14 plugins at a time. However, um, and my game runs good like that. However, I do not recommend anybody else doing that. The most I will install with you at a time is maybe seven to eight plugins, um, so, with that being said, before we go into part two of this, this is what I want you guys to do. Okay, let's go to our plug. Let's go back over or to our main directory. Go to plugins. Go to LSPDFR, and then uh, go down here to your callout manager configuration setting and open that up. And we're going to change this. Okay, right here where it says menu toggle key equals F12. 
highlight that two and change that to a zero because being the fact we're on Steam, every time you hit F12 to pull up your callout manager, you're going to take a screenshot every time through Steam, okay? Now, with that being said, go ahead down here to where it says uh, menu toggle key modifier equals none. Highlight that none and hit control C as in Charles to copy it. All right, and then go down here where it says men menu toggle button equals D-pad left. Highlight the D-pad left and hit control V as in Victor to pay paste none. Do the same with the one right below that. This is right shoulder. And now down here where it says auto close, you want to highlight that word false and type in true with a capital T. Just like that. Okay, now what that does is when you open up your callout manager and you select a you select a callout, if you have this set to false, uh, after you select the callout, you'll have to back out of about three windows, okay? But if you have this set to true, once you select the callout, the entire callout manager window automatically just closes for you, which I find very useful, okay? Uh, so once you got all this changed, guys, go ahead and click File and click Save, and then just close out. Now, we're going to go back to our main game directory, and we are now going to close it. Now, here's what I want you guys to do before we go into Part 2 um, of the install plugins, of uh, the plugins install tutorial. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to stop the video here and I want you to restart your PC okay so I'm gonna do the same go ahead and restart the PC and once I've restarted mine I will bring you guys back into the video alright ladies and gentlemen back with part two of two of the plugins install um, so now that we have all restarted our PCs let's go ahead and click the link down there for grammar police it's going to bring you to this page right here, okay? Um, go ahead and scroll down and click download this file. Put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. Um, and then once you get that, moving on to the next one is going to be Immersive Dispatch. Uh, Grammar Police and Immersive Dispatch both kind of go hand in hand. So you, you can use Grammar Police without Immersive Dispatch, but you can't use Immersive Dispatch without Grammar Police, if that makes any sense at all. Uh, with that being said, scroll down, guys and girls, and click download the file right here. Um, Officer Pope and three others are the creators of Immersive Dispatch. Shout out to the creators right there. And uh, let's go on to the next one here. Player Location Display is going to be done by Lieutenant Kane. Again, Lieutenant Kane. Um, player location display tells us our location. If you guys want a, kind of a sneak peek of what it is here, if you don't know what it is, um, I will explain it all in the game. I'll explain it all in the game. So scroll down, guys, player location display, and download the file right here. Once you get that, go on to the next one. It's going to be Radio Realism Alpha 1.2. Now, i got to give a proper shout-out to Maddie with Maddie is Ball on this one because I would not know about this mod if it was not for Maddie. Um, I watched this tutorial on this. Um, this is done by Buddha Rocks. Um, but big shout out to Maddie who um, did a tutorial on this. And I was like, wow, I really, really love the way the dispatch sounds with this mod. So big shout out to Maddie. Uh, thank you, Buddha Rocks, for your creativity on this mod. Man, it is, it's an awesome mod. I love it, dude. I really love it. So thank you, man. We appreciate you. On over, guys. We're going to download right here. Download. Now, if a lot of you will read this stuff, you will see if you are if you want to install these individually or whatever some other time. Uh, if you guys will read, so a lot of times these creators will leave the installation path right here or they'll be in the, um, they'll be in the readmes. So, I, I'm not sure if this one's in a readme. I don't think it, yeah, I don't think this, yeah, this does not have a readme, but nonetheless he puts the installation path right here so um big shout out to the creators who do that um i have a lot of respect for creators who put those installation pathways right there in the description for you and in the readme's as well um if you're a creator and you put it in the readme um then mass respect for you man because i know a lot of these noobs that come around like a lot of the new modders they don't know how to install this stuff so you know when you put those in the readme's it really Helps them out, man. So we appreciate you guys. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, you just want to download the file here. Once you get it downloaded, I'm rambling on. Let me get move on to the next one. 
Next one is going to be Sticky Wheels. I will go over each mod and tell you what each mod does and what uh, what purpose it serves um, as we uh, progress and uh, go over each mod. This is done by Corio right here. Uh, so let's. Uh, this is Sticky Wheels. Let's scroll down. Click download the file right here. Once you get that one, go on the next one. It's going to be Stop the Ped by Mr. Bajojo himself, my favorite modder. Uh, he is my favorite modder for plugins. Um, he does an amazing job. I love his plugins. Big shout out to Bajojo, man. Uh, love your stuff. Would love to have you on an episode of Meet the Gamers. That would be absolutely amazing. So if you ever see this, man, um, I would love. We would love to have you on Meet the Gamers. That'd be awesome. Uh, but anyway, guys, this is going to be version 4.9.4.7. As you can see, the updates were July 22nd. All plugins were updated uh, to support the current version. So go ahead and you want to scroll down. Guys, these could be a little bit tricky at times. You want to click this arrow right here, okay? And if you get this screen, just simply close out of it, go back, and click it again, and it will start downloading just like that. Once you get that one, close out of it. Next one's going to be Ultimate Backup version 1856. Again, big shout out to Bajojo for this, man. Don't know where we would be without Bajojo mods, man, because, uh, uh, like, I would say probably, I'd, pray, I'd probably say 90% uh, uh, of the realism in LSP4 comes from the Bajojo mods. Um, so, you want to scroll down here and click this arrow. Again, if you get that screen, just simply close out of it, go back, and click the arrow again. It will then download. So big shout out to Bajojo for his mods and his creativity. I know he spends a lot of time on these mods, and he's always updating. He's always got his mods up to date. You can always bet that Bajojo's mods are always up to date, man, always. All right, let's go ahead and close out of that. Once we get everything, guys, we're going to close out. And we are now going to open up our main directory. And we are going to open up our Grammar Police WinRAR, okay? And then double-click on the folder. And then double-click on Grand Theft Auto 5. Like, right here, guys, this has a readme. See that? Let me pull it over here. It has a readme right here. Installation, right here it is, guys. Copy the contents of Grand Theft Auto 5 into your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Um, edit the settings of desired seed config.txt for details, okay? And I'm going to show you guys how to edit this, okay? So, what you want to do is double click on the Grand Theft Auto 5 folder right there and you want to now remember guys we've already up uh, we've already dropped in the most recently up to date rage native UI so we do not need another one we have the most recently up to date okay so you want to highlight everything in here and then hold down your control key and deselect that rage native UI DLL because if you'll pull this out and look that's from 8, 12, 20, 20. The one we have is what? 8, 1, 20, 21. So ours is brand new. It's like very new. All right. So you want to grab these three files right here. Everything except the Rage Native UI.dll. Do not drop. Do not drop that Rage Native UI.dll. Just these three, guys. Grab them. Pull them into your main directory like this. And drop them in. There they go. They are going in. Boop. All right, there it goes. And it's in. Once you get it, guys, go ahead and refresh the file. Close out of that. And if you guys hear a squeaky toy, that is my wife over here um, playing with our new puppy, um, Chaco. Uh, open up the Immersive Dispatch window, guys and girls. Click on the folder. Click on the Immersive Dispatch folder right there. And then again, guys, do not drop the rage any of you why. We do not need that. Hold down the control key, highlight the plugins, highlight the LSP far, but deselect that rage any of you DLL. We do not need that. We do not need that. Love you, baby. Okay. Grab the plugins and the LSP far. Pull them in your main directory and drop them in just like that. There it goes. Now keep in mind, guys and girls, immersive dispatch will not have an INI file or configuration setting until we run the game okay all right let me go ahead and uh, refresh that and then close out of that and get rid of that shortcut next up is going to be player location display open that up guys uh, double click on installation files double click on grand theft auto 5 and then grab both of those files right there the asi and the ini pld pull them in your main directory and boop drop them in 
There you go. Refresh the file. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut. Now, Radio Realism Alpha, guys. This is a little bit different of a of a of a um, the way we install it. So double click on the folder right there. Double click on Grand Theft Auto 5. And then you want to double click on the one that says LSPFR. Don't click on the no hiss. Just double click on LSPFR. Double click on audio. And double click on scanner. Now pay attention to that pathway we just followed. Okay, I'm going to show you one more time because your pathway is your lifeline. A lot of you fail to know what these pathways are for. Radio Realism. Grand Theft Auto 5, right? Grand Theft Auto 5. LSPDFR. Go to your main directory, double click on LSPDFR. Go to your WinRAR, double click on audio. Go to your main directory, double click on audio. Go to your WinRAR, double click on scanner. Go to your main directory, double click on scanner. See how that pathway matched up, guys? Your pathway is your lifeline. It's so important to know those pathways. When you memorize those pathways and know exactly what they're for, what they do, and why they're there, it will be a lot easier for you to install LSP4 and you will get the gist of it a lot quicker, okay? Now, what you want to do, you will notice you have a resident folder inside of your WinRAR right here, okay? If you look down inside of your main directory, which you should be in Grand Theft Auto 5, LSP4, Audio, and Scanner, okay? If you look down here, you will also notice a resident file right there, okay? There's your resident file. You are going to grab the resident file from your WinRAR. You are going to pull it into this part of your directory. And again, you want to be in Grand Theft Auto 5 LSP4 Audio Scanner, okay? Do not highlight anything. If you're highlighting something, don't drop it. Bring it over into the buffer zone. Drop it in there just like that. And you want to replace the 18 files. Go ahead and replace them, guys. All right, dispatch is now changed. Go ahead and refresh it and go back to your main directory, okay? And then close out of this and get rid of that shortcut. We're done with that part. All right. Next up is Sticky Wheels. Open that up. Double click on Grand Theft Auto 5. Grab the plugins folder. Now, again, you should have went back. So you should be in Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5, okay? This is the pathway you should be in. You should have went back. If you, if you didn't, you need to go back, okay? Grab this plugins folder. Pull it into your main directory, into Steam Apps, Common, Grand Theft Auto 5, and drop it in just like that, okay? Close that and get rid of that. All right, stop the ped is up next. Open that up. Double click on stop the ped. Do not grab the raised NFUI, guys. We do not need that. Do not drop that. Grab the plugins folder only. Pull it in your main directory. Drop it in, okay? It's going to take a minute because it's a big file. Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Last but not least, ultimate backup. Double click on the folder. Again, do not drop that raised any of you eye, guys. We already have one in. Just grab the plugins folder only, pull it in your main directory, and drop it. Okay? If it asks you to replace the two files with the same name, go ahead and replace it. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. It's good. Okay? Refresh your directory, close out of that, and get rid of that shortcut. Now, next up, what we want to do is we want to go to our main directory because we have to manipulate these files. Okay? So go to plugins. And go to LSPFR. Let's go back. Go back. You guys will notice right here is your sticky wheels, okay? There's your sticky wheels right there. Go ahead and go to LSPFR. All right. So right here, you should be in Common Grand Theft Auto 5 Plugins LSPFR. That's where you should be right now, okay? Now, what you want to do is we're going to manipulate the Grammar Police file first. All right. Open this up. Again, let me say this. I do things the way I do them because I know they work, okay? <clears throat> because I know they work. That's why I always put, that doesn't mean you have to do it this way, okay? I'm just showing you what I know from experience, and from my experience, it works. If it didn't, I wouldn't be showing you how to do it this way, okay? Just want to throw that out there. That's why I also have the disclaimer at the beginning of my video saying mod at your own risk. I am not responsible for your PC and or game files. Mod at your own risk, okay? With that being said, once you're inside this folder, inside Grammar Police, um, you want to click on Default, okay? we If you guys are lost about where we are, we're in Common, Grant the Auto 5 Plugins, LSP4, and you want to be inside the Grammar Police folder, okay? Double-click on that default. Now, 
I know it says do not edit this file see the config.txt in the documentation folder for details but again I do it this way because it works okay it's never done me wrong it's never crashed my game it's always ran flawlessly okay so this is going to be your call sign area right here okay make sure you leave those quotation marks do not erase those now your first set of numbers can be 1 through 10 your name I'm gonna go ahead and change mine real quick uh, since this is my firefighter file I am going to do three and then my name your name can be Adam a, can your name can be A through Z so pretty much Adam Boyd Charles David Edward Henry Ida King Lincoln Nora Ocean Paul yada 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 etc okay all the way to x-ray and zebra okay um, so mine's going to be John 3 John 16 I notice how I left those quotation marks guys leave those quotation marks in there um, so uh, make sure that your numbers your first set of numbers is 1 through 10 your last set of numbers is 1 through 24 and again your name has to be something between the lines of a and z or between the lines of adam and zebra okay um now we're going to go down here and we will we will change all this inside of the game okay so here's what we want to do um we want to let me see here real quick um go right here where it says hold the talk equals false highlight that false and you want to type in true just like that because we want that hold the talk that way you can hold the button and she will not respond until you let go of it okay so that's a good feature to have in the game let's go ahead and scroll down now right here dispatch key i set this from right menu your right menu is going to be your right alt key okay it's pretty much all it is but i changed mine to zero okay because i have the mini keyboard on my controller it's easy for me to access. I would recommend you guys changing this to a key that's easy for you, okay? It, it can be a number or it can be a letter, but if it's a letter, make sure it's capital, okay? Make sure it's a capital letter. Um, now, right here on um, the um, settings key equals F2, we're going to change that F2. Um, let me think here. We're going to change that from an F2 to... An F8 and I'm gonna tell you why we're doing that because left control F2 is also going to be our firefighter menu okay well F2 will be and if you hit F2 not left control F2 but F2 will be your firefighter menu and if you leave that F2 they're both gonna clash so change that from F2 to F8 okay and if it happens to clash anywhere else we'll change it back to something else all right moving on down here uh, go ahead and highlight this word right here false guys and hit control C to copy it and let me go down here right here guys where it says use generic response equals false highlight that false I'm sorry highlight the true above it and hit control C and then highlight the false right below that on use generic response and hit control V generic response pretty much means just means she'll say 10 4 copy that to anything you say so you can pretty much role play any kind of dispatch that you want okay <coughs> If you're in a pursuit, for example, you could say dispatch suspect is headed northbound Polito Boulevard. Uh, speeds are accessing at 100 miles an hour. Vehicle is going to be a black um, sports car. Uh, and the occupancy is going to be times one. Let go of the key. She'll respond with 10-4 or copy that. You know, So that's what that generic response is for. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Now, right here where it says, it says show player status, highlight the false, and hit control V. Below that where it says show target plate, highlight the false, and hit control V. Now, down here where it says status text position X, change that 88. Okay, highlight the 88 and just put in 78, okay? Then go down to where it says status text position Y. Go out to the end and erase the two and the five and just put two zeros like that, okay? That's all you got to do, all right? And I think that's pretty much it for this one. 
I think that's it. Let me double check here, guys. I don't want to miss anything. If we do, like I said, we can always come back and check it out. Um, let's see. I think that's it. All right, guys. So once we're done, go ahead and click File and click Save. All right. Then close out. And then let's go back. And right now, you should be in Common, Grand Theft Auto V, Plugins, LSPDFR. Okay, that's where you should be at right now. All right. Now, next thing we want to do is we want to go down here. And like I said, Immersive Dispatch will not have an INI file until we run the game, okay? Let's go down to Ultimate Backup, the configuration setting right here at the bottom, okay? Should be at the very bottom. You want to go right here where it says Toggle Menu Key Equals B. Highlight the B and change that to a capital U. That way it's easy to remember. Ultimate Backup, U, you know, it starts with that. So it's easy to remember. Let me pull this up real big. All right, actually, let me just, let me pull it over here so I can see it. All right, we're going to scroll down. Everything else is good, I think, by default. The only other thing that we want to change in here, guys, is going to be right here. We're on perimeters where it says set yes to or no to the state of the siren lights. So is code to siren lights on equals yes. You want to change that yes to a no because we're going to be running ELS vehicles and if you want those vehicles to come in uh, in a silent code 2 instead of coming in behind you with the lights and sirens blasting, then set this to a no. Okay, I highly recommend a no. All right. Um, that is pretty much it for that. So let's go back up. Let's click File and let's click Save and then Close Out. Now, before we manipulate Stop the Pen, we're going to go back to our very main directory. At this point, you should be in Steam Apps Common Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay. We have to manipulate our player location display position, okay? So scroll down until you get to PLD. You'll see PLD A.ASI, and then you'll see PLD configuration setting. That's the one that you want. Open that up. And the only one you want to change in here is the one that says um, uh, local text position equal, uh, Y equals 1035. You want to highlight that 1035 and put in 950, okay? That's what you want to put in, 950. So once you got that, go ahead and click File and click Save. All right, and then close out. Now, let's refresh this. And then, again, we want to navigate to Plugins and LSPDFR, and then we want to open up the Stop the Ped configuration setting. Let's open this up. This is probably one of the biggest files to manipulate, okay? So scroll down, and we're going to highlight this word none right here, and we're going to hit Control-C. All right? And let's scroll on down. And then right here, guys, it's not like we're really going to need this, but go ahead and change this right here where it says uh, search key equals F10. Change that 10 from a 10 to a 9. And then down here where it says call transport key equals D8, change that 8 to a 9, okay? Now down here, leave all this alone. Now, right here where it says context menu button equals A, highlight that A and hit Control V. All right. The one right below it, highlight the D pad left and hit Control V. Again, scroll on down. And then right here where it says uh, quick grab button equals B, highlight your B and hit Control V. The one below that that says D pad left, highlight it and hit Control V once again. Now, right here where it says tackle player. We need to change this because if not, it's going to conflict with our controls if you are a controller user. All right, right here, where it says tackle button equals B, highlight the B and change that to a capital X, okay? And then go down here below this where it says sprint boost button equals Y. A lot of people ask me, how do I get my character to run so fast? This is how I do it. Change that Y to a capital A, okay? There we go. And then let's scroll on down. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, where it says take control over all arrest equals yes. You want to change that yes to a no. Okay, because when when there's a scene and because there's still going to be police action going on around you sometimes. And if you don't change that to a no and a, say like one of the AI cops arrests somebody, they're going to leave that ped with you every time. And if you're in the middle of fighting a fire, it's going to be very unrealistic for you to have to deal with a, 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 a ped that's handcuffed and awaiting for you to transport them to jail. So, uh, like I said, guys, it's for firefighter, not police, okay? So let's scroll on down here. 
And I'm just going to kind of scan through this again as quick as I can um, just to make sure that, okay, right here, guys, where it says force search result full screen equals yes. Change that from a yes to a no. Um, but as I was saying, guys, I'm going to scan this as quick as I can just to get you all through this. And because uh, I'm fixing up to call tonight, it's like 10 o'clock and I've been on this for a couple hours now. Um, but you guys will never know that I've been gone because of the magic of editing. It'll be like I'm gone. It'll be like the, the video ends and it comes right back in. So um, let's go ahead and scroll down. Um, okay, now right here, guys, a very important aspect of Stout the Ped right here. Use Stout the Ped Advanced Flashlight instead of Vanilla LSP4 Flashlight. We're going to change that in the LSP4 INI file once we're done here, okay? But leave that on yes, okay? Leave that on yes. Let's scroll on down until I get to the next part here that we need to change. Right here, guys, where it says enable realistic. Uh, nope, not that one, not that one. I'm sorry. Um, right here, guys, where it says realistic weapon system. See that? The one below that that says enable on startup, you want to change that yes to a no because we're not going to be using realistic weapons for this, okay? Uh, we want to be able to load our, our, our um, weapons our flares and stuff and our fire extinguisher through the simple trainer and if we have that set to yes then once we load our weapons through simple trainer they will just disappear okay so um i get a lot of questions about that too if your weapons are disappearing this is probably why right here because you have this enabled on startup it needs to be on no all right let's go ahead and scroll down and uh let me see here guys if there's anything else that we need to change i'm almost going to say no um, because I'm pretty sure that was probably the last file that we had to modify in here. Okay, right here, guys. One more, I think. Right here where it says prisoner transport uh, siren lights depart. You want that set to yes. Okay. Uh, that means that siren lights means they're lights. Siren sound means they're sound of the siren. Okay. So siren lights just means they're lights. So they're going to come in with lights. They're going to leave the lights. This is only for transport, okay? So if you see a transport van coming in, they're going to come in with their lights on. They're going to leave with their lights on, okay? But no siren. No siren, okay? So let's scroll on down. Corner service. Um, tow service. I think that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. We are done. Let's scroll all the way back to the top. Go ahead and click file and click save. And close out and we are done guys let's go back to the main directory now at this point you should be in steam apps common grant that thought of five okay go in here to your main directory and you want to go to lspfr and then you want to go to the lspfr configuration setting right here open that up okay and then you want to go right here where it says ambient dot disable player flashlight override equals false change that false if I can get mine to operate correctly. Change that false to a true, okay? This disables the vanilla flashlight and allows you to use the Stop the Pet flashlight just like we were reading a while ago in the Stop the Pet I and I, okay? So with that being said, uh, go ahead and click file and click save and then close out. Trust me, guys, you want the Stop the Pad flashlight. You don't want to use the vanilla. The Stop the Pad has a lot better uh, and more legit, brighter beam on it, okay? So let's go back to our main directory and go ahead and reflect, re reflect, or flat, <laughs> and go ahead and refresh and then close out. Now, here's what I want you guys to do. Being the fact we just installed seven more plugins, okay, I want you all to restart your computer again, all right? And then I'm going to do the same thing. And then I'm going to take you inside the game and I'm going to show you how each one of these plugins works. So I will see you all inside of LSP4. Now, one more thing before I go. One more thing before we go to the next part. When you launch the game, okay, when you launch the game, you are going to want to click on Rage and hold down the left shift key immediately just like so, like this, okay? And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you why. Because we installed a plugin, okay? Now, if you go over here to plugins, you're gonna you're gonna go down to load these plugins on startup. You're gonna see we now have sticky wheels and clear the way V installed. Okay. Now you don't have to do the, do it like this every time you fire up the game. Only just this one time to make sure the plugins load. Okay. Once you get that done, go to load all plugins on startup, and you are clear to save and launch. Okay. But 
I'm going to go ahead and exit, and I want you to do the same, guys. Please restart your PCs. It helps so much when you do it, okay? I will see you all inside of LSPFR. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so if you have spawned into the game like this, more than likely you're probably going to after uh, running Rage the way that we did. Um, so what you want to do, if you want to turn your TV off, guys, just click on the E twice on your keyboard. That'll turn your TV off, and then right-click on your mouse to stand up. Okay? So at this point, we want to go on duty. All right? Uh, so we're going to hit the F4, F4 console key, and we're just going to type in F-O-R-C-E. And then we're going to hit the tab key, okay? Once you hit the tab key, we'll pull up your force duty right there. You are going to hit enter, all right? This is going to load all of our plugins that we have just installed into the game, all right? Since the since the last section of this tutorial, guys, I have um, I have slept, and it is a new day, um, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how every, each one of these plugins work. I have not forgot that. So if you end up in this apartment, which you're probably going to, you're, wanting, you're going to want to go up the stairs right here. And then you're just going to go to this door right here and you're going to hit E on the keyboard or right on the D-pad. And you'll walk out. And the first thing we want to do, guys, is we want to get our police cruiser. So being the fact that we got that one vapid police cruiser, all right, the one that we made ELS compatible, that's the one that you want to get. Now, the way that you're going to spawn this is you're going to open up your simple trainer by hitting F3. And you're going to go down to vehicle spawning and then go down to emergency, okay? And then go down to where it says police cruiser. Now remember, two goes down, eight goes up, four goes left, six goes right, and five selects on your numpad for the uh, for the simple trainer, all right? So we're going to select the police cruiser, all right? We're going to back out of that, all right? Now if you will hit right control P, P is in Paul, right control P, and then hit backspace, you will now notice that you have an ELS box, okay? You now have an ELS box. There's a few tricks I want to show you with this. All right, so we're going to pull out here. Now, this car only has one stage of lighting, okay? So for keyboard users, it's going to be your J key to turn on your lights. You're going to hit it three times. You're going to go one, two, three. All right, your J key. J is in John, all right? All right, give me one second, guys. I'm so sorry. I always forget to go offline on my Steam. Let me fix that real quick. I'm so sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Let me fix that. I don't want to see other notifications popping up. And I'm sure you guys probably don't want to see that stuff either. All right. Back into the tutorial. All right. So, with ELS. Now, for control users, um, to turn on your lights, it's going to be left on the D-pad. So, you're going to hit it left on the D-pad three times. One, two, three. Now, with any other ELS card that you install, you're more than likely going to have three stages of lighting, which is going to be your first stage. It'll be your traffic advisory and then stage two, and then stage three, okay? Now, with this uh, mod right here, ELS, we're gonna turn our headlights off. Um, there is a trick that you can do to make your strobes and everything pop out. I'm not too sure if it works on this car because I haven't tried it yet, but if you will hit, if you will hold down on left alt on your keyboard, left alt, and hold it down and just start clicking the one, the numbers on top of the keyboard, not the numpad, the numbers on top of the keyboard, start clicking the one, and says uh, Corona pattern change, and you want to take it all the way to 30, okay? All right, keep holding down the left alt, and then do the number two the same way. Hit the number two, start clicking that one, and you're going to notice these, these strobes are going to start popping. See that, guys? Oh, I went past it. You want to take this one all the way to 30 as well, okay? And again, number three. This is a little trick. Bro, do you got to be right in my way for this showcase, my man? Are you serious? Get out of my way, man. Move, brother. I'm trying to do a tutorial here. Again, guys, hold down left alt. We are now on number three. Going to take it all the way to 30. <laughs> it was right in my way. Uh, and then go over to number four and do the same thing. Now, then it goes all the way up to five. Some cars, I think, go up to six. Are you joking me? Get out of my way, peeps. All right, sorry about that, guys. But you guys see the... Okay, so hold down left. Oh, go back to number four. Oh, we already did that one. And click that all the way to 30. Same thing. So you're holding down your left alt keys. You're doing this. Then number five. And remember, the numbers are on, the ones on top of the keyboard, not your numpad. 
and let's see if six works on this one okay so it's just one through six so you will hold down your left alt key and tap numbers one through six until they reach 30. now if you will notice now if you will notice now there's still no stage one or stage there's there's the stage two now all right but you will notice now there is strobe lights on the car and the lights pop a lot more okay now there's a way you can change the patterns on the car if you hit for example if you hit the u on your keyboard which we'll do that in a minute we'll do that in a minute because if I, once we hit you guys it's going to pull up our ultimate backup but this guy right here wants to fight but it's also going to set off a panic mode because of our immersive dispatch brother you don't want none of this keep keep walking keep on going all right so all right, guys, and I'm just showing you the lighting patterns here because we're going to have these lighting patterns when we install our, our fire vehicles, okay? So, again, let me go up here. Stage 2, we now have a Stage 2. This normally doesn't have a Stage 2, but with those settings, it does. So, uh, Jeffrey Gamer was the one that showed me that trick, so shout-out to my brother Jeffrey, my brother. Shout-out to him, man, for showing me that trick. But there you go, guys, there it is. Now, on keyboard, to operate your sirens... It's going to be the numbers on top of your keyboard, numbers one through six, okay? So, before we do that, the manual is going to be your R key. All right, and the E will be your horn. If you hit the R and tap the E while you're holding the R down, you get this sound. Right, kind of like when you go through the traffic lights, okay? Now, when you want to go code three, all right? You're going to use the numbers on top of your keyboard, one through six. You're going to hit the one for primary, and then two, three, four, five, and then if you go like this, turn the one off, hit the one, and then hit the six, it gives you dual sirens, okay? So if you hit the one and six again, it turns them off. Now, um, controller users, for you guys, uh, your siren is going to be down on the d-pad for your primary siren up on the d-pad up on the d-pad will be your secondary okay if you hit the b on your controller if you have an xbox controller hit the b to change the sound all right and then left thumbstick click of course honks your horn all right all right now, uh, for, for keyboard users, your E will honk your horn if you're running your sirens, okay? Uh, now, controller users, again, if you hit the B on your controller without your sirens running, you're going to get the manual. Like that. Now, if you, if you hold down the B and tap the left thumbstick click, you're going to get this sound. Alright. So, that's pretty much it for ELS. I'm going to go ahead and hit control P and exit out of that box. Um, all right guys, so open all interiors open all interiors now Let's get out. Let's open up the map here if you will notice now you have a bunch of little buildings all over Your map, okay all over your map if you do not have these buildings Just simply press the f7 on your keyboard and it will enable them. Okay, but they should be on there by default All right now Open all interiors, got that one. Automatic siren cutout. That's going to be uh, pretty much self-explanatory what it is when you get in your car and you go code 3. And you have your sirens on and you come to a stop and you get out. It automatically cuts your sirens off when you get out of the car, okay? Clear the way V. Clear the way V. Alright, so we're going to run code 3 through the town here. And we'll kind of show you how um, clear the way V works. You notice the cars kind of move out of the way a little bit better. Now the buses, the big buses and trucks and stuff like that, semis, they're not going to move. It's just, I don't know why, they just never do. But you will notice that the vehicles do get over. Alright, so there is Clear the Way V. Alright, so Clear the Way V. And now Call Out Manager. So if we hit the F10 on our keyboard... All right, we, the only callouts we have right now is the LSP first response. If you open that up and you click on, say, Pursuit, pursuit you click it, it's going to close the callout manager, which is why we set that one INI file to true. Watch this. Officer 
See how it closes it? If we didn't and set that to true, we would have to back out of that window, okay? Shots fired. All right, so there's that. There's call out manager. Next up is custom environmental lighting. Once this, once this call clears, I will uh, turn my lights back on. All right. All right, so custom environmental lighting and better ELS reflections. We'll go ahead and cover both of those because those kind of go hand in hand. So if you guys see the reflections on the building right there, see, I mean, on the mountains there, on the rocks, see how broad they are, see how much they reflect. And if we hop out, you look behind you, you can see how far back they reflect back there as well. All right, so see, it's all the way up there on those rocks up there as well. So that is your custom environmental lighting and your better ELS reflections, okay? Okay, ambient effects. Now, there's really only one way to show you guys the ambient effects. <laughs> there's only one way to do it. And that's to blow something up. All right, so let me pull in right here. Let me hop out. I'm gonna pull up my F3. I'm gonna go to uh, weapons. I'm gonna go over and, oh, I cannot stand what it is. I'm gonna grab the RPG, okay? I'm gonna grab the RPG and we're gonna blow that up right there. Now, if you'll look at that smoke and that fire, compared to vanilla, that is a lot more realistic. The fires burn a lot longer, and the smoke is a lot more visible, okay? Now, once we install fire callouts, it will make the fire and smoke even more realistic, okay? So, that is kind of how ambient effects works. Like that. Alright, so, ambient effects covered. <laughs> That is the only way to show you guys that, all right? All right, let me see what's next. Uh, okay, so Grammar Police is gonna be up next. Now, we set our key uh, to the zero key on the keyboard. We also have push to talk enabled. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, hold to talk enabled, which means that she will not respond until we get done talking and release the key, okay? One thing I do wanna show you guys real quick with your Grammar Police is you want to make sure you go into your settings all right and you want to go to system and then you want to go to sound and always make sure that your input is set to the mic you are using that you're talking to for grammar police okay that's very important that you do that uh so that grammar police picks you up also try setting up your voice recognition your voice recognition on your pc that also helps player location display now, on your Grammar Police, we set our menu to left control F8, all right? If we hit that, it's going to pull this setting up, okay? Now, you can go to status display settings in which you can turn off your display down there. See that? Target plate and everything. You can turn it off. You can make it bigger uh, right here by going to text scale and making it a little bigger like this, which I like to make mine around 60. And then when you go back, anytime you do anything here, guys, always go to save configuration and click enter. You want to save it always, okay? Let's open that menu back up. Now this time we're gonna go up to um, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to uh, PTT settings, okay? So uh, this is our push sound. So when we push the button, it's the sound you're gonna get, okay? We're gonna go back. Now, I like 8 personally, so I'm going to leave my push talk on 8, but this is the sounds. This is 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Alright. I personally like 8 for my push sound when I push the button, and then the release sound is going to be this. 6, 5, 4, 3, I personally like 2, and then 1, okay? So whichever one you set it to, guys, make sure you go back and then go to save configuration. All right. There you go. Now, if you hit the L, your immersive dispatch settings will pop up. We'll go to settings. All right. Let's see, because I've never really messed with this part much in here. Let me see. Uh, this is... Let me see what this is in here, guys. I've never really messed with any of this in here. It's the miscellaneous. So there's our call sign. And we can edit it right here. I did not know that. I never knew that. So we're going to edit our call sign right here. I'm going to make mine. Um, we're going to do three dash. Make sure there's a dash in between the numbers. And then whenever your call sign was in Grammar Police, you want to make it the same here, okay? 
All right, so I'm going to do 3 John 16, click enter, and it is saved. All right, then we're going to hit backspace, and then we're going to go down because I want to change that one key. Um, now, right here, guys, in Axon, okay, we want to click unactive, make that unactive, okay? Well, actually, go to key first and type in if we can do it like this. Oh, we cannot, we cannot, we cannot do it like that. So here's what you want to do, guys. Just go to Axon there. It's just this is an Axon body camera sound. If you don't want that, you can just click an active. Um, I I probably wouldn't recommend using it because you're not really going to need it for this this uh, the firefighter file. So once you get it uh, an active, click out of it, and then uh, let me look at the rest of it. I did not know you could edit the INI file right here. I was not aware of that at all. So uh, you learn something new every day. No matter how many times you do something, guys, you always learn something new. Now, right here, panic button. We need to change this, all right? So we need to make that um, inactive so that it does not interact with our ultimate backup, okay? Um, once you get that back out, uh, menu key is fine, on scene key. Now, we can go ahead and um, we will... I'm going to deactivate these because I don't use the hotkeys... So just if you want to deactivate them, just go to each one, go in there and, and make them inactive. All right, just like that. That's all you got to do. But these are hotkeys for stuff like if she doesn't recognize you, then you have these hotkeys to just hit it and she'll immediately recognize the call. Okay, so if you say like 1023 uh, on scene and she doesn't recognize what you're saying, you can hit that hotkey and she will re recognize it immediately. So... But I always deactivate on mine because she usually understands me pretty good. But today she wants to be um, weird. All right. Um, let's see. So those we need to leave all those active. Do not, do not mess with none of that. Um, and then you want to go down to reload all settings, reads, entire settings. I and I not required for settings change to work. Uh, press enter to continue. Settings page will close. All right. So reload settings. All right. And now, if we press U. Okay, good. That is a good thing. Let me try it like this. Three John. Three John sixteen. Go ahead. There it is. You can show me ten forty one ten eight. Roger ten. So now I'm on patrol. Now if I want to go off patrol, or if just say if I get a call, okay, so Grammar Police and Mercy Dispatch at this point is handing your call availability. So you no longer need to hit the M key, go to your police radio, and turn your calls on and off. If you want them off, all you have to do is go like this. Dispatch, show me 10-6. Roger that, 10-6. All right, so we are now 10-6, which means we're out of service, and we will not get any calls, okay? Dispatch, show me 10-41-10-8. Roger that, 10, All right. So I do apologize, guys. That was completely my fault. I'm just so used to using one Adam 7 as my police file that I just automatically did it. All right. Now, player location display, guys. You will see it down beside the mini map where it says West Vespucci Boulevard, Strawberry Avenue, uh, Mission Road, Metro Los Santos. Uh, that is your player location display. So it tells us what street we're on. Right, it tells us our cross street and what street we're on. So right now we're headed southbound, Strawberry Avenue. Right. If you want to cancel a pursuit, guys, if you get a pursuit like this and you want to cancel it because we are playing as a firefighter, you can go like this. Dispatch, show me code four ten forty one ten eight. All right, code four ten forty one ten eight will clear that pursuit. It will clear any call you're on. Okay, so. uh Report a on, uh, and you guys will also notice the radio sounds. How more realistic they are. That is realism, a radio realism alpha, all right? So let me quit doing police stuff because we are doing firefighter stuff here. All right, so Sticky Wheels is up next. Now, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, this is mainly used for the police file. But, you know, if you're parked, you can just simply turn your wheels like this. You can hop out, and your wheels will stick that way, okay? Uh, now, for police officers, the, the reason they use that is because when they have a suspect pulled over the side of the road, the police officers will turn their wheels towards the traffic so that if they get hit in the rear end, it doesn't shove their car into the person in front of them, but it shows them out in the traffic instead, okay? So that's what that's for. 
Uh, stop the pad. Stop the pad is um, a very useful. Let's do ultimate backup first, guys. So hit the U on your keyboard. This is going to be your code two and your code three uh, backup. You also have a partner over. You can spawn partners, uh, which with firefighters it doesn't work very good because they all want to hold tasers. And there's the K9 partner, which we won't be using. The reason we install ultimate backup stop the pad is for our um, our grammar police situations. That's pretty much why we install it for this file. You have to have it. Um, you also want to have stop the pad to treat patients that are down. So let me uh, let me knock somebody out here, and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Someone film that. All right. So that punch was on point. Now, when you have a when you have a patient down, okay, let's say our victim's down, you're going to walk up to them. And Attention all units, we've got a 211 at uh, Dispatch, show me to six. Strawberry 24-7 market. I'm going to go out of service. Units respond code three. Now, if you ever want to accept a call Roger, through Grammar Police, six. all you have to do is just say, Dispatch, show me en route, or Dispatch, show me responding code two. Dispatch, show me responding code three. All right, so with that being said, uh, once you have a ped down, you come up on a scene, uh, you have a p pedestrian down, you're going to hit the G on your keyboard, and you're going to go down to 10 to edge. Uh, you can either search the body, drag the body, or you can tend to the injured ped. Now, let's say this ped is in the street, and we need to drag him out. Okay, we're going to click drag body. Using your keyboard, W, A, S, and D, and then your thumbstick on your controller, you're going to use it to go back and forth. And you're going to use S to lay them down, and you're going to pull down on the left thumbstick to lay them down, okay? So I'm going to lay her down right here. All right, just like that. So just for example, if she was in the street, okay? Just for example, if she was in the street. Now, uh, to tend to her, you're going to hit the G again. This is your stop the ped context menu. You're going to go down to, now you can search the body if you, if you feel like you need to as a firefighter. You can click search body. And he will search the body. But yeah, guys, I kind of wanted to show you all that pursuit while ago so that you would know how to get out of a pursuit. So she's got a bag of marijuana and a few tablets and a plastic container. Now, as a firefighter, this can be useful so that you know kind of why the pedestrian is down. If they have drugs on them, narcotics, any kind of contraband, uh, then you will know that that's probably the reason why they're passed out. They may be overdosed or something, okay? Um, so go ahead and hit the G again. We're going to go down to 10 to edge injured pad. Now this is where you will either revive them or you will not. Okay. I'm going to show you guys how to call for ambulance and corner as well. All right. So he's going to try to tend to the injured pad. Now up there in the corner, I'll say treatment is successful. The pad is alive. Now, if they don't make it, it will say CPR was unsuccessful or something like that. All right. Now we've got her like this. She's on the ground. You can now call for medical. Dispatch requesting medical. Ambulance. All right. Required so you say dispatch requesting park. medical. Dispatch semi medical. Dispatch uh, semi ambulance requesting ambulance. Uh, so they're gonna come up here. They're gonna pick her up. And there comes the ambulance right there. They should come over here and pick her up. Come on over here, man. Oh, and your stop the pad flashlight, guys. That's your stop the pad flashlight. Also, ladies and gentlemen, hit the F3, go on your simple trainer. Go to weapons. Go to remove all weapons. They're going to take off on the stretcher. And then go down, like I showed you guys before, go down to weapons, load, save menu. And then you want to go up to load all weapons to slot one, okay? Now, the weapons we loaded in here earlier, they're going to pop up in your weapon. Well, there's your flashlight, all right? You have your flashlight, your crowbar, your hatchet. All right, and then up here you have your fire extinguisher, jerry can, and your flares, and you have your open carry pistol and your flare gun, okay? But this is your stop the pit flashlight, guys. See how much better it looks? Remember we tried the vanilla when we first fired this up? See how much better that beam looks? When we install, our, when we install the, the other mods, it's going to look a lot better, like visual mods, guys, okay? Um, I don't know if I'm doing visual mods yet. We'll have to see because I do have a tool on visual mods. Uh, so up next, um, I hey, think that's... That? I think that's pretty much it, guys, for um, true dead, for our plugins. I'm looking here in my notes, but I think that's it. Now, if for some reason you feel like that you need armor for your firefighter, you can always walk to the back of any vehicle that you're using. It has to be an emergency vehicle, though, 
and you're going to hit the G key and you would just go down to evidence check and then go over to no 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 that's not I'm sorry I'm sorry guys that's, that is not it that is not it that is not it I don't think you can do it on this car I don't think you can do it on this car let me walk out this way All right, let me enable the realistic weapon system and see if that's what does it. All right, now I'll walk back to the back of my car. And now, if you ever feel like you need armor or anything, you can always go down and replenish the armor right there, okay? Just make sure, guys, that you uh, enable the realistic weapon system first, just like I did it. You would walk out here, you would click G, and you would click Enable Realistic Weapon System. Now... If you notice when I enable that and you look in your weapon wheel, you now do you now only have um, the pistol, the flare, and the jerry can, um, and you have your. Um, yeah, I should have made those disappear. I'm not sure why it didn't. Should have made my weapons disappear. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, that okay. That's a good thing anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disable the realistic weapon system. All right. Um, and God, these AIs are so stupid. But that is pretty much it for all the plugins that we've installed so far. But there's your ELS guys. It looks so good like that with those with those extra um, Coronas in there, man. They just look so good. The car looks so much better like that. Um, so that is pretty much it, guys, for the plugins part. Uh, we're gonna be going back to the desktop here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to install OpenIV. How to install all your necessary patch days, how to get a mods folder, and all that good stuff. And then we're going to start on our open IV modifications. So I will see you all back on the desktop. Everybody get out of here. Go. Get running. Drive by. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So once we are back on the desktop, uh, before we install open IV, there's one thing that I want you guys to do. Go into your main directory. And we're going to now up here, you will notice that you'll have logs now. That is your uh, ra that is your rage plugin hook logs. Okay, see that. So now you it's completely up to you guys. You can keep these or you can just kind of highlight them and like I always delete mine. The only time you want to keep those is if maybe if your game is crashing and you need to show your log to my support team in the Discord. Um, that's the only time that, in my opinion, you would need to keep those. In my opinion, okay. Um, so for anybody out there that takes me wrong on anything I say it off, God forbid. Um, that's just in my opinion, okay? That doesn't mean everybody has to do it. That's just in my opinion. Lordy. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, guys, what we're going to do here is we're going to go in our main directory. We're going to go to plugins and we're going to go to LSPDFR. Okay. And you will now notice that you now have an immersive dispatch INI file configuration setting. Okay. Open that up. Now, right here, guys, when we change this inside the game, just make sure that all these letters right here in your name are, in fact, capital. Okay, they have to all be capital. It's good to have them capital. Um, and then um, there was one other thing I seen in here that we needed to change. I'm trying to figure out what it was. Right here, guys. So this is a standby function. So what that means, if you call dispatch and the radio is, per se, busy, uh, dispatch will say standby. Um It'll say standby, uh, radio signal busy. Okay, now me personally, I do not like this feature, so I'm going to highlight this word here, false, hit control C, and highlight that word true, and hit control V to change it to false. Okay, I think that was pretty much all we had to change in here. That's pretty much all that was left, so let's scroll back up. And we're going to click File, and we're going to click Save, and then we're going to close out. And then we're going to go back to our main game directory, and we are going to um, close out of our main directory. All right, guys, so with that being said, let's go ahead and let's click the link in the description for OpenIV. It's going to bring you to this page right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all you have to do is just click Download Now. And you want to put it somewhere, again, where you know how to get to it. As long as you know how to get to it, that's all that matters. That's all that matters, that you know how to get to it. All right, once you've got that, guys, downloaded, we're going to go here. And we are now going to double-click. You should have this on your desktop now, the OVI setup. 
you're going to double click on that okay and you want to select your language here and then select continue this is going to install our open IV again select your language click continue all right and then just click I accept the terms of, of agreement click continue now the pathway for the installation of open IV cannot be changed you cannot you cannot change this at all okay uh, now what you want over here in this area is uh, you want install the open IV to this computer which is what it should be selected to by default if it's not put it on that okay uh, create desktop icon short uh, create desktop icon make sure that is checked and then run open IV after installation make sure that is unchecked okay once you've got it all go ahead and click continue all right click yes there it goes it takes a minute to load everything in and I'm going to show you guys where to go from here, okay? So if you got installation of OpenIV has been completely successful, completed successfully, then you can go ahead and click close. If not, you need to back up and see what you did wrong, okay, guys? Just take your time with this stuff. There's no need to rush. All right, now you will now notice you have an OpenIV shortcut on your desktop. You want to grab this shortcut, all right? Again, you want this in your taskbar. Bring it down and pin it in your taskbar just like that, okay? Once you get that... You can grab the one on your desktop, and you can just kind of throw it in your recycle bin just like that. And then go down here to the one in your taskbar and click on it. And you want Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. All right. This is going to be where we select our installation path, guys. You want to click Browse. All right. And then you want to click on this PC. It's just like we're locating our main directory, okay? And then you want to select the hard drive in which you installed your Grand Theft Auto 5, all right? And then select Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then you want to select the one that we are modding, which is the one that should say Grand Theft Auto 5. Okay, click on that. Once you got that, you should you should in this part down here it should say Grand Theft Auto 5 in this folder. Once it says that, go ahead and click Select Folder. It will then say successfully GTA5.exe version 2372. Open IV can work with this file. Go ahead and click Continue. Do not forget to back up your original files for editing, of course. Click continue. And then we wait. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of requests for this video. As I said, I'll also be doing a video for the LSP for uh, police community as well, the, the, the police career. So I'll be doing that. Um, all uh, the main mods as well as all plugins. Now, we now have our open IV installed our pathways installed and it's set up remember guys your pathway is your lifeline i'm going to bring my open iv up like this and i like to keep my open iv kind of small all right now if you want to be in edit mode at all times okay like as soon as you open open iv and you want it to be in edit mode automatically then this is what you want to do you want to go over here to tools and go to options Make sure you're in the general tab. Go down to where it says default work mode and change that from read only to edit. And then click close. You will only have to hit edit mode this one time. After that, every time you open up OpenIV, you will be in edit mode, okay? So click edit mode. You're now going to get this blue banner. Install plugins for GT5. You need to install the ASI loader and OpenIV.ASI plugin for your GT5. Otherwise, game will not load modified RPF archive what does that mean that means we have to install these this asi loader or we cannot mod gt5 and lspfr any further than what we have okay so go ahead and click asi manager and then if for some reason the very first one asi loader is not installed go ahead and install it but it should be installed by default but if it's not go ahead and install it then on openiv.asi click install make sure both boxes are checked make sure they're both checked Click yes, and then click install open camera. Once you get it done, click close. You will now notice that you have a mods folder up here in the left column of your open IV. If you click that, it is empty, and that's okay for right now. That is perfectly fine, all right? Let's go ahead and go back, and then we are going to close out of our open IV. Now, we want to open up our main directory, so right-click on your file explorer and select your main directory. You will now also notice you have a mods folder in here. If you double click on it, it is also empty. That is okay for right now. That's perfectly fine, okay? We want to go back to our main directory 
and we want to simply highlight update right here in our main directory highlight the update hold down your control key and highlight the time 64 while holding that control key right click on those folders and then go down and click copy all right then you want to go up here to the mods folder where you see the mods folder and double click and open it up go inside here left click right click and click paste okay it is now going to paste that time 64 and update folder into our mods folder which is exactly what we need to mod lsbfr to the fullest extent okay with that being said guys as you can see this is going to take just a short bit i'm um, about six minutes um, so i will bring once this got once this is done ladies and gentlemen i will bring you all back into the video all right ladies and gentlemen now that those files are done copying over so what we want to do now is we want to go back to our main game directory and we just want to minimize our uh directory as we are going to need that let's go ahead and open up our open iv and we want to click again we want to click windows for grand theft auto 5 windows click on windows for grand theft auto 5 guys so i hope you guys enjoy the tutorial this is going to be a long tutorial if i've had to i've had to do some here and then stop do some here and stop you know got family things going on you know other videos to do so anyway guys again if you open up your uh if you did what I did a while ago, guys, and you open and you fixed your, you went to tools and went to options and fixed your default work mode to edit, you should automatically be in edit mode when you open up your open IV. If you are not, go ahead and click on edit mode and make sure it is on. We are going to minimize. Do not close it. Just minimize your open IV. Now, click the first link in the description, ladies and gentlemen, for our first open IV modification. This is going to be the map that we're installing uh, a lot of you asked me uh, what map I use this is the map I use right here uh, this is the real Los Angeles pause menu map um, now you can do it uh, with loss you can have it uh, put in your game as Los Angeles or you can do it lore friendly as Los Santos all right what you want to do guys is click download all right so let's click download right here and put it somewhere where you know how to get to it Moving on to the very next one is going to be Euphoria Ragdoll. Um, this is going to come in handy uh, for the realism part of your uh, firefighter and EMS experience. Go ahead and click download here. On right, the next one is going to be Improvements in Gore. Okay, Improvements. Now this does get bloody, but it it is really really useful for doing especially firefighter and EMS work, okay? Especially if you're working on the ambulance or doing first responder stuff, okay? Go ahead and click download right here. Again, put these somewhere where you know how to get to them. Moving on, the next one is going to be our EUP Law and Order. Uh, now, we don't necessarily need Law and Order um, for our firefighter EMS uh, file, but the thing is, is you can't have serve and rescue without having EUP law and order so and we have to have serve and rescue that's where our firefighter EMS um, Coast Guard outfits all that is okay but we have to have a law and order in order to run serve and rescue so go ahead and scroll down here guys and click download the file right here moving on to the very next one um, it's going to be our EUP menu go ahead and scroll down and click download the file right here very next one is going to be emergency uniform packs serve and rescue now this is the this is the uniforms we need but like i said you cannot run you cannot have this without installing law and order so unfortunately we have to do it like that let's go ahead and scroll down and click download this file right here moving on to the very next one is going to be our kiflam id replacement now we're getting this just in case for some reason that you have to identify someone as a firefighter okay sometimes i find myself having to do that uh so we're going to go ahead and install this kiflam id replacement just to have it so that if you do id somebody your guys not saying kiflam it's very annoying uh it's more realistic this way trust me go ahead and click download this file right here ladies and gentlemen on to the next one is going to be realistic gun sounds now we're putting this in the game because um at some points of you playing LSP as far as the firefighter or EMS, you are going to hear gun sounds going off in the game where police are shooting at suspects. And for me personally, I like to hear realistic gun sounds so it makes the game more the, the experience alone more realistic. So let's go ahead and scroll down and click download right here. 
All right. And next up is going to be our Max Payne 3 Glock. Now, the reason that we're installing this is because for those of you, like myself included, that wants to, per se, open carry or conceal carry when you're on duty because you get those stupid AIs that like to randomly shoot at you for no reason when you're when you're putting out a fire with a fire extinguisher, this is why we're installing this. So that if you do decide to conceal carry or open carry, the gun is more realistic, which is why one of the reasons we're installing the realistic gun sounds and the Max Payne Glock. All right, so we're going to go ahead. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. We're going to go ahead and click download right here. After you get that moving on, the next one is going to be Better Radiance. Everyone knows what this is for by Matthew Skeed, who made me and Jeffrey Gamer contributors to this mod. So we appreciate you, Matthew. Thank you, man. Um, Better Radiance, guys. This is going to make our police lights bright and beautiful, okay? So let's go ahead and let's scroll down. And we want to click Download This File right here. After you get that, look at these screenshots real quick, guys. Um, after you get that, guys, go ahead and go to the very next one. Last but certainly not least is going to be our Federal Signal Touch Master Delta. This is going to be the siren that we use in the game. This is the siren that I use in my firefighter file. So for those of you who ask what siren are you using, this is the one we're installing it today with this tutorial. So go ahead and click download this file right here, guys and girls. Once you get everything downloaded and put and you have put them somewhere where you know how to get to them, let's close out of our web browser, okay? Now, the first thing we are going to install is going to be, um, let me see how we want to do this here. Give me one second here, guys. Um, we're going to grab the Kiflom ID replacement. We're going to grab the Euphoria Ragdoll and the Improvements in Gore. And we're also going to grab the Glock mod and pull them up here. And we're going to install those first, okay? Let me move the rest of these up. All right, let me make sure that there's no other. Let me see about this one. All right, and let's go ahead and move our realistic weapons over here. To, I mean, our realistic weapon sounds over there as well. Let me make sure that's the only ones that we need. Okay, so open up your Kiflom. Don't open up your Open IV yet, guys. Just leave it minimized. Open up your Kiflom replacement right here, your WinRAR. You just want to grab the Kiflom replacement OIV file right there, and you want to drag it to your desktop, and you want to drop it just like that, okay? Let me move that up just to... Okay, it won't move. All right, once you get it, go ahead and close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. Next, open up your Euphoria Ragdoll. You just want the ERO194 OIV file. Grab it, pull it out, drag it to your desktop, and drop it like that. OIV just means open IV, guys. So that's all it means. It means package installer, okay? Close out of that and drop that shortcut in there. Let me uh, kind of pull these up here a little bit. All right, Improvements and Gore is next. Open it up. Click on the folder. And you want the Improvements and Gore.oiv right there. Grab this one also and pull it out to your desktop and drop it, okay? There's a reason we're doing the OIV files first. Once you got that, close it and dump that shortcut into the recycle bin, okay? Open up your Glock mod. You uh, want the Glock.oiv. Pull it out to your desktop and drop it, okay? Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. And the last OIV file right here is going to be our realistic weapon sounds, guys. Go ahead and grab the RGS41.OIV. And you guessed it, guys. Pull it out to your desktop and drop it right there on your desktop just like that. Once you get all those guys, go ahead and drop that in there. And now we want to open up our open IV. And we are going to... Now, it's best to pull this over so you can see what you're doing. We are going to install these one at a time, okay? So, going into our open IV, make sure you are in edit mode, okay? Make sure that edit mode button is on. Go over here. Now, there's two ways you can do this. You can go to tools and select package installer, or the easiest way to do it is go right here where you see my cursor at, where them three little colorful dots are, and you want to click right there, and it's going to open up your package installer, okay? Now, once you get into your file explorer and it opens it up, Go underneath where it says this PC and click desktop. That's where those files are going to be. We're going to install these in the order that we see them on our desktop, okay? That way there's no confusion. So the first one up is going to be our Kiflom ID replacement. So find that and double click it, all right? Once this window pops up, click install. And I can never stress this part enough, guys. Never, ever, by any means, ever, do you ever 
pick the game folder. Never pick the game folder, guys. Always select the mods folder. If you select the game folder in any situation like this, you're going to screw your game up. You're going to mess the whole thing up. Okay, so just select the mods folder and then click confirm installation. All right. I I've, I've actually had uh, folks come on my Discord that selected the game folder, and I don't know why. I have no idea why because my, my tutorials are step for step. I show you each step on how to do this and that. I don't understand how people mess these things up. I just don't get it. When you watch my videos, I don't understand how you're messing up unless you're just not watching my whole video and you're just you're one of the people that likes to skip to the to the, the important parts of the video. All right, guys, if you got installation succeeded right here, then you got it right. If you didn't, you need to back up and see what you did wrong. Go ahead and click close. And we're going to grab this Kiflom replacement over here, guys, the uh, OIV file, and we're just going to drop that into our recycle bin like that. All right, now I'm going to pull these up. Next up is going to be our Euphoria Ragdoll. So go ahead up here to your Open IV once again. Click those three little dots. You want to click on Desktop underneath where it says this PC. And this time, we want to double-click on the ERO194 OIV. Click on that one. Again, click Install. And again, click Mods Folder and click Confirm Installation. I cannot tell you guys how many times I've installed these mods. <laughs> oh my goodness! If I could count, guys, if I had a if I had a dollar for every time I install LSP4, I would be a rich man. Uh, installation succeeded, guys. Go ahead and click close. All right. Now we're gonna go over here and grab the ERO one nine four O IV and drop it into our recycle bin like that. Next up is going to be our improvements in Gore. Go up here to Open IV. Click the three dots again. Click desktop, and you want to select the improvements in Gore. Double click on it. Click install. Click mods folder. And click confirm installation. All right, I want to go ahead and get these out of the way because they're quick, they're easy, and it's just it's, it's good to go ahead and get them out. This is how I install my stuff every time. The way I'm showing you guys how to install this is the way that I do it every time I install it, okay? All right, installation succeeded, guys. Go ahead and click close. The only difference is, is for me installing it myself and showing you guys how to do it is I'm teaching someone how to do it, right? I'm just teaching you guys how to do it. So that's the only difference. Now, once you get that, go over here and grab that improvements and gore.oiv file on your desktop and drop it into your recycle bin. We've got two more left here, guys. Next is going to be the Glock. Go ahead and click those three dots again. Go to desktop and double click on the Glock.oiv. Double click on that. Click install, click mods folder, and click confirm installation. Now this is going to make the Glock look like a real Glock in your hand. So, which is the purpose of the mod. It looks really cool. I love it. All right, go ahead and click close. And then we're going to grab this Glock.oiv and throw it into our recycle bin. Pull this one up right here. This is going to be our realistic weapons. Once again, go into those three little dots in OpenIV and click Desktop and then click on the RGS41.OIV. Double click it. All right. Click Install. Click Mods Folder and click Confirm Installation. Yeah, guys, I don't get it. Like my, my tutorials are all step for step. It shows you how to do each thing step for step. And I still get people that come to my Discord saying, Well, I messed this up. How? How did your plugins folder end up? in your in your lspfr folder how does that happen like if you're truly watching my videos guys go ahead and click close if you're truly watching my videos and get rid of this right here guys then there should be no mistakes if you're watching my videos from start to finish there should be no mistakes there should be no flaws because every time I install these mods, my game runs amazing. Now, LSPFR is always going to have its issues because it is a mod. It's basically like Hero Play said. It's basically a game being played that's not meant to be played on GT5. You know, so it's going to have its issues. But overall, you can make it as stable as you want or as unstable as you want. It all depends on how much you pay attention, okay? So, with that being said let's go ahead and let's minimize our open iv go to our recycle bin open it up and go in here highlight all that and clean it out all right it's always important to clean out your recycle bin and then next up guys we're going to be installing these mods right here so we are going to need our open iv let's open up our california map right here our winroar double click on the files 
And then um, I would recommend doing Los Santos San Andreas, guys, especially if you're doing um, if you're doing content on YouTube because they, for some reason, they will copyright you for stuff like that. Um, just, just trust me, okay? Uh, now, what we want to do is we want the installation.txt right here. We want to open that up. This is going to tell us how to install this. Now, there's two sets of files we have to install, the Minimap C files and the mapzoom.meta file, okay? The first thing we're gonna install, guys, is the Minimap C files. This is going to be the pathway that we need right here, okay? As you can see, let me pull this over. So, following this pathway, go over to OpenIV and make sure you are in edit mode, okay? Make sure edit mode is on. Go over here and go to mods. Now, if you notice, we do not have a time 64 b in this area right here so you want to go into the left side column of your open iv and just click on that time 64 b right there just click on it once all right you're going to get this red banner right here this is copy to mods folder okay go ahead and click copy to mods folder now if you've already got this installed it's going to say show in mods folder okay so after that what does it say to select it says select data after that what is it cd images okay and then what scale form underscore generic so right there's your pathway guys to install your stuff you just got to look at the readme's scale form underscore generic dot rpf so it's going to be now the easiest way to get this right i'm going to be honest with you guys is go over here to your your um your your installation text and just highlight that scale form underscore generic dot rpf if you're unsure about this right click and click copy and then go up in your open iv to that little search bar right here where you see my cursor at go in there and hit Control v as in victor and it will put in that last part of that pathway that you need and right there it is it's the only skill form underscore generic dot rpf double click it okay now once you click it if you still got that up there it's going to say no items match your search that's okay go ahead up here to your search bar all right and just kind of double click in there till it's highlighted and then backspace and then everything will pop up, okay? So this is where your Minimap C files are gonna go. Go ahead up here to your search tab again in OpenIV and just type in Mini. There is all your Minimap C files right there, guys, all right? So we're gonna minimize this notepad. Don't close it, just minimize it, all right? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select Los Santos San Andreas. Double click on that. And the only files you want are the mini map C files. Do not drop that map zoom data dot meta in here, okay? If you do, you're gonna mess it all up. Alright? Only drop the mini map C files, okay? So grab the mini map C files, highlight those only, pull them in here, drag them, and drop them in, okay? Now if you go into your open IV and double click on one of these mini map C's. Okay, it's probably going to give you that because we just installed OpenIV for the first time. Close out of it and double click on it again. If I can get it to work. And you're going to see part of the map exposed right here. See, there it is. That lets you know you got it right. That's what the map looks like, okay? <clears throat> if you're unsure, if you're unsure of it. Now, let's pull that notepad back up because we got to install this map zoom data dot meta. Pull that notepad back up, guys. Now, the next pathway is going to be for our map zoom data dot meta, okay? Go right here to this pathway. That's the pathway you want, okay? Want to go back over to OpenIV, and we want to clear that search in there. Make sure you clear your search in the search tab in OpenIV. All right? And then go back over to Mods. Make sure you're in edit mode. All right? Again, all right? If you do not have the common.rpf, which I do, but if you do not have it, go down the side column and click common.rpf and click whatever it says, either show in Mods folder or copy in Mods folder. Just click it, all right? After that, what's it saying? It says data. All right, and the last one is going to be UI, not AI. It's UI down here at the very bottom. Okay, go ahead and open that up. And right here is your map zoom data dot meta right here. Okay, so we can go ahead and close out that notepad. And you want to grab the map zoom data dot meta only. You want to pull it into your open IV into that pathway right there. And you just want to drop it in like that, okay? It's done, guys. We're done with that, okay? Close out of that WinRAR and get rid of that shortcut. The map is now installed, all right? So let's go ahead over here to File. Uh, in OpenIV, go to File and click Close All the Archives, okay? All right, and let's go ahead and minimize our OpenIV. 
and open up our main directory okay now in our your main directory all right oh let me fix that real quick in your main directory okay you should be in steam apps common grand theft auto 5 that's where you should be right now okay this is where your plugins scripts mods lspfr folder all that is you should be in that pathway okay open up your eup law and order 8.2 and you want to grab just the plugins the plugins folder only okay you want to drag it into your main directory and you want to drop it like that okay now let's minimize our directory for a second grab this eup lno 8.2.oiv grab it and drag it to your desktop and drop it just like that okay there you go close out of that and get rid of that shortcut now before we install that we're going to go further and install the rest of this stuff go ahead and open up your eup menu guys open it up double click on files do not drop the regnetivui.dll you do not need it now you need an up-to-date regnetivui.dll to run eup but we already have one okay so grab the plugins folder only pull it into your main directory and drop it in okay go ahead and close out of that and get rid of that shortcut minimize your directory okay and then open up your eup serve and rescue grab the eup snr 14.oiv drag it to your desktop and drop it just like that okay and then get rid of that shortcut all right now before we install these two right here we are going to install our um oiv files okay so let's open up our open iv again guys and girls um you want to go to those three little dots click on it click on desktop underneath where it says this pc click on desktop and go ahead and install the eup uh what's first eup snr 1 1.4 oiv guys double click it all right go ahead and install mods folder and confirm installation we're almost done with this part, guys. We're almost done. I believe this is part four of the uh, of the tutorial. But we're almost done, guys. Installation succeeded. Go ahead and close out, guys and girls. Uh, go back into those three little dots again. Open Package Installer. Click on Desktop. And this time you want to select the EUP LNO 8.2. Double click it. Install. Mods folder. Confirm installation. We are almost done, guys and girls. We are almost about to go in a game and test these mods out, okay? We're about to do that. We are almost there. Just be patient, guys. <laughs> it normally takes me around probably... Uh, I've been working on this tutorial already uh, since last night. So a total... Uh, go ahead and click close, guys. So a total, I've been working on this thing probably about three hours already. And I still haven't finished it. We still have requirements to install, vehicles, and then I have to edit, make my thumbnail, and then upload it. So, um, But it is always worth it for you, fine young ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and minimize your open IV, guys and girls, and highlight those two OIV files and just drop them into your recycle bin just like so. Now, open up your open IV, okay? And let's open up our Better Radiance WinRAR and double-click on the folder. And the first thing we want to do, guys, let's go ahead and minimize our um, open IV. The first thing we want to do before we install Radiance is we want to uh, click on this folder. This is recommended right here, which is recommended better Radiance taxi train and all that. Double click on that. This is going to be our fixed files. Now let's open up that. Go ahead and open up your fixed files, guys. And we're going to double click on each one of these and grab the PNG file in there and drag it out to our desktop and drop it like this okay go back do the bus the same way grab it pull it out drop it go back do the metro train grab it drag it drop it go back and the taxi grab both of these grab both of these pull them out drag them and drop them now let me go like this and bring this one down here all right so with that being said i think it did it okay yeah this way okay so if your file ends up like that guys no worries don't worry about it, it's fine now let's go back in our winrar go back and then we want to open up this readme text okay this is going to tell us where to go to install those files okay so 
this is going to be your um, this is going to be your pathway right here. Um, the main pathway we're looking for is this one right here, guys. So open up your open IV and you might want to bring it over just a tad so that you don't so that you can see these right here, okay? So what we want to do is we want to go to um, let's go ahead and go to mods. All right. Go ahead and click on mods. And we want the time 64E, which we already have that. No, we don't. We do not have that in there. Make sure you're in edit mode. Go down the side column, guys. I thought we put that in. Go down the side column and click on time 64E.rpf. Okay. Go ahead and copy or show in mods folder. All right. Well, I still think I'm going to get a sip of Coke. Ah, yeah. So refreshing. I love a cold Coca-Cola, man. All right, what's the save to that, guys? Levels. And then, again, GTA 5. And then we want the vehicles.rpf, okay? Now, this part gets a little bit tricky on, a co on just one of the files, okay? But I'll show you how to do it. You can go ahead and close out of your notepad as we are done with that, okay? Now, let's move this over this way a little bit. And we can close out of that WinRAR as, as uh, uh, two guys. We can close out of that. Now, what we want to do is everything here is labeled for a certain reason, okay? So, the first thing that we were going to look up is going to be our bus. So, go up here to the search tab in your OpenIV. Again, make sure you are in edit mode, okay? You should be in mods, time 64e.rpf, levels, GTA 5, vehicles.rpf, okay? That's where you should be. All right, go up here in the search tab in OpenIV, and you just want to type in Airbus, okay? And we want to get the Airbus.ytd. Open that up. All right, and this is the one that you want to replace right here, okay? Make sure it's over here where you can see the rest of your stuff, okay? The see how it says Airbus LED sign? Up here it says Airbus LED sign. Perfect match. It's all you got to look for is to match the names, okay? Now, go over here to where it says replace in this file. Go to replace. And again, you want to click desktop underneath where it says this PC. Click desktop. And you want to double click on the Airbus LED sign, the Airbus. Click on that. If it goes dark, you have done it. You have done it. All right. Let me make sure that's it for in here, I believe. I believe it is. Okay. Once you got it, guys, go ahead and click save. And then go back up here in your search tab and open IV and double click and then highlight it and clear it. All right. The next thing we're going to do for Metro bus. Now, being the fact there's no Metro bus, but there is a Metro train, this is how we're going to do that. You just want to type in, just type in bus, guys. Type in bus. All right. And you want to go down in here and you want to find the bus.ytd, which is right here. Okay. Go ahead and double click on that. And you are going to want the Metro Bus LED sign, the one that says downtown, okay? Go ahead and, let me pull this over. Go ahead and click replace. Again, make sure you click desktop. And you want to, you want to, you want, I'm sorry. You want to replace this with the Metro Bus LED sign. Go ahead and double click it. And there it is. Once you've got it, guys, go ahead and click save, all right? Now, again, let's go back up here and uh, clear that search tab. And this time, you want to type in, you just type in Metro, okay? And you want the MetroTrain.ytd. Now, the reason we're installing these fixed files is it keeps your Metro Train lights from being bright, your bus lights being bright, your taxi toppers being bright. It dims all that down because when you install better radiance, it makes those really bright. So... Uh, big shout out to Matthew Skeed for putting this file together, man. I know it probably had to take a while. Um, MetroTrain.ytd is the one you want, guys. Double click on that. And in here, we want, let me see here. We want the one that says Metro Train LED sign. It should say have, have a yellow Los Santos just like that. Go ahead and click replace. And you want to double click on the Metro Train LED sign, okay? Once you get it. Click save. All right. Go back up here and clear that search. Now, we're going to grab the ones that we've already used. Um, and we are going to throw these into the recycle bin real quick. All right. 
The only two we have left is the Taxi Detail 2 and the Taxi Signs 2. Now, again, go back up here in the search tab. And what do you want to type in? You guessed it, guys. You got it right. Ding, ding, ding. Taxi. You want to type in taxi. All right. And you want to double click on the taxi.ytd. Now, there's two files in here that we have to replace, okay? First of all, we want to, we want to find the taxi detail 2 right there. This is the one you want to replace. So, re click replace. And then you want to click on taxi detail 2. Double click it. All right? Once you've got it, go on down to where it says taxi signs 2. All right? This is the next one you want to replace. Click replace. Click taxi signs 2. There you go, guys. Click save, and we are done. We got that part out of the way, all right? Make sure you clear your uh, search tab up there. All right, and then the next, go ahead and uh, get rid of these taxi uh, PNGs, guys. Throw them in your recycle bin. Now, we can move our open IV back over. The next spot we want to go to is we want to go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, and then data now i highly advise you guys in this pathway to go up here to favorites click add to favorites and click add because i can promise you i can assure you 100 percent this will not be the last time that you use this pathway okay so with that being said open up your better radiance again double click on the folder and then you want to get better radiance brighter day police lights okay double click on that and this is the file we want. Make sure you are in edit mode. I can't stress that enough, okay? Um, the visual settings.dat is right here. And the visual settings.dat is right here. Grab the visual settings.dat from the WinRAR. Pull it into your open IV where the other one is right here. And just drop it in. There you go, guys. Radiance is installed. Better Radiance is in. Now, our Federal Signal Touchmaster Delta is a little bit different, okay? Let's go back over to open IV. Pull it over, and we want to click on File, and click Close All Archives, okay? Now, go ahead and minimize your open IV. Open up your Federal Signal Touchmaster Delta Siren, and you want to grab this folder right here. Let me double check. Yeah, you want to grab this folder right here, and you want to drag it to your desktop like so, okay? That's what you want to do. Once you get it, go ahead and close out of that, and leave the window on your desktop. Don't delete it yet, okay? Now, go on your desktop here somewhere and right-click, click New, and click Folder. Now, we're going to name this OS for Original Siren, okay? Because we have to export the files and then import the files, okay? So, open up your OpenIV, all right? Now, I know we just installed a lot of OpenIV modifications, but if you, if you look at it, it wasn't really a lot. It was like eight or nine, but it wasn't really that much. It just takes a while to put those types of files in with all the steps and pathways that we have to go through. Open IV modifications probably take the longest to install out of everything in LSPFR. Um, now, with that being said, there is a certain pathway we have to go to to get to our audio files, okay? So that is going to be, again, make sure you're in edit mode, go to mods, and then go to time 64, and then go to audio, okay? Then go to SFX. You want to scroll down until you find the resident.rpf, which is going to be right there, the one I have highlighted, okay? Double-click on that resident.rpf, all right? Again, I would highly recommend saving this file, so click Favorites. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Favorites, Add to Favorites, and then click Add, okay? Now, in here, we're going to be working with, let's pull this over. We're going to be working with the vehicles.awc because we are installing a siren, okay? So you want to go to this vehicles.awc and you want to highlight it and you want to right click. This window will now pop up, okay? Go down to where it says export to open formats.oac and click on that, all right? Now, if you come to this window like this, it's blank. Don't worry about it. Just go underneath where it says this PC and click desktop. There's all your files, okay? Now, remember, we are exporting, okay? So we want to click on that, that folder that we just created that says OS for Original Siren. Double-click that. And then down here in your folder, once you double-click it, it should say OS or whatever the name of that folder is that you named it. Once you've got it there, go ahead and click Select Folder, okay? 
our files are now exported. Now, what we want to do next is we want to go up here to the top of our Open IV and go to New. All right, so this is File, Edit, and New. Go to New, and then go to Import Open Formats. All right. Now, again, go underneath where it says this PC and click Desktop. Do not select these files, guys. Don't select those. Select Desktop to open up your files there. Okay. Now you want to do, you want to click on the Touch Master Delta, okay? Double click that. If I can get it to try it again, there we go. All right. Now your pathway up here at the top of this should be this PC Desktop Touch Master Delta. If that's the pathway you've got right now, you are in the right spot, okay? The only file you need in this in this area right here is going to be that vehicles.oac. Click it one time. Once you see it down here in the file name, click open. You're going to get this window. Click OK. Our siren is installed, okay? Let's go ahead and click file and click close all the archives. And then we can now close out of our open IV. Get rid of that shortcut. Okay? Keep that original siren, guys. Keep it just in case something was to go wrong and you have to import it back into your game, okay? Keep those. I always keep it until I go into the game and know that my siren is working, all right? So we're going to put this. Uh, you can take your Touchmaster Delta file, guys, and you can put that in there. But the file that you created, this one right here, if you'll open it up, it will have a vehicles and a vehicles.oac. That vehicles.oac will be the one that you will import back in if something was to go wrong or if you don't like the siren, okay? So with that being said, hang on to that, guys. As a matter of fact, I'm going to slip that right there in there. Uh, okay, now with that, um, I know I said a lot, but that being said, let's refresh our directory. Make sure you refresh it. Close out. And now we're going to go in the game. We're going to test all these mods out, guys. And we are almost done as we are going into part five of this tutorial. Um, so I will see you all. Um, actually, you know what, guys? We have to launch raiders like this. Let me tell you like this. So you want to click Rage. And then immediately hold down your left shift key because we just installed EUP, right? And that is the plugin. So we have to launch it like this, but only like this the first time. You only got to do this one time, okay? Every time you install a plugin that goes directly into your plugins folder, you have to launch like this, okay? So go over to plugins. Once the window's up, go to plugins and go to load these plugins on startup and then just click check all. See your EUP menu down there? And then go back up and check uh, load all plugins on startup. And then click save and launch. And there you go, guys. And that's it, guys. We're going to go inside the game. I'm going to show you guys how each mod works, what they do, and what purpose they serve. Um, so with that being said, I will see you all inside of LSPU. Guys Farm. and girls, I did want to edit back in here real quick just to tell you all to make sure, please, after installing that amount of mods, please make sure you restart your PC. Okay? Restart your PC, and when you come back in, make sure your antivirus is off. It is always important that when you install a vast amount of mods like that, whether it's whether it's uh, two mods, whether it's five mods, ten mods, 14, 15, or 20 like I do, always restart your PC, guys. But I just wanted to edit back in real quick before I actually started the game up and uh, tell you guys that. So make sure... You restart your PC. I will see you all inside of the game. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it is a brand new day. And since uh, the last part of this tutorial that we did on the desktop, um, we had some issues with the Bajojo plugins that had to be fixed. But they've been fixed since then. Everything's good to go. So if you spawn into the game like this, and you're probably going to be in the fact that we launched our game through Rage the way that we did, you're going to click E twice. I mean, click E once. And then click right on your mouse to stand up. Then we're gonna press F4 and type in F-O-R-C-E and hit tab and click enter. Okay, we're now gonna go on duty and we are going to test out all of these open IV modifications. Now yesterday when I spawned in and did this part, it kept saying that my plugins would load and then it said they were disabled. So I was I was kind of weirded out about like, I was like, what what is going on? I went back and, and even reinstalled them, verified my game files, did everything I was supposed to, and then come to find out, I went to the JoJo Discord, and there was an issue going on. So I felt a lot better once I knew there was something wrong on that end, you know, as far as that goes, because I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't want to have, I didn't want to have done anything wrong and then mess y'all's game up. You know what I'm saying? So 
It's a good thing it wasn't like that. Let me get my notes pulled up here, guys, so I can get down to the Open IV modifications so I can see exactly what it is that we're testing. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to go outside the apartment here. If you come in, if you're spawn inside the apartment, which you should. Look at that beautiful view there, guys. Check it out. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? That is so cool. All right, so we're going to go up to the door here. And we are going to go out. Hit E to go out. Or right on your D-pad and you'll go out the door. And the first thing we're going to we're gonna check out, guys, is this brand new California style map. Let me go ahead and pull up my simple trainer. And let me change the weather to extra sunny or it'll rain. And let me get the time up just a bit. I'll see you Wait right a sec, up. buddy. I hate oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hold on a sec. Nope, not that. Not that. There we go. I gotta let the I gotta release these guys now. One sec, guys. Get out of here. Any more crap? Time to open your eyes. Wake up. Ah. Get out of here, man. All right, now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna go to the pause menu. And if you'll notice, you now have a brand new map, guys. And this is the uh, this is the Los Angeles, California style map. Now, if you if you did the Laura friendly, which I did recommend doing that, if you do content on YouTube due to copyright reasons, then you will have the Los Angeles map. I mean, the Los Santos map, just like mine. If not, you'll have the Los Angeles map, okay? But that's what the map looks like. Uh, now, improvements in gore. There is only one way to really test this. And let me go ahead and get my stuff loaded up. Let me go down here. And let me load all my weapons. Alright. Because we do have... Um... Alright, so... Uh, Euphoria Ragdoll and Improvements in Gore. Let's go ahead and stop this lady right here. We're going to use her for a volunteer. Now, Euphoria Ragdoll, guys. Euphoria Ragdoll. We're going to test that one first. So, when someone is shot, or they go down, they're knocked down, they will fall in a more realistic manner. So, like this. See how she kind of grabs her leg? Right? So, that is Euphoria Ragdoll. Now, you notice the blood behind her, the blood mod. And the blood mob will honestly, if you go like this, you'll see little bullet holes in her, and you're going to see the blood splat on the ground. And a lot of times, if you're close enough, the blood will come back on your clothes. Let me see if I can get it to do it. And then you'll see her clothes start soaking up in blood. I don't know if it got on me. Oh, yeah, see right there, the blood got on me. So that's your Euphoria Ragdoll, your improvements in gore. Uh, let's go ahead and let's pull up our EUP menu, which is going to be, by default, is our F11 key. All right, now the only thing you're going to want to use in here is going to be EUP Serve and Rescue. This is going to be all of your. So if you go to LSFD, that's Los Santos Fire Department. This is going to be your fire department outfits, your EMT, all that good stuff. Um, so you guys get the gist of how it works here. We're gonna we're gonna grab that outfit. Let me clean my guy up real quick, guys, before we go any further with this. Let me just clean him up. All right, and then we'll go back into our menu. Now, if you just say, for example, if you want to save this outfit, okay, you go to wardrobe, and you're going to go to create outfit, just like that, and then you're going to click on name, and then you're going to name this just whatever you want. I'm going to put in uh, LSFD, and if that pops up, guys, that's going to be your emergency dispatch. Just hit the L key again, and it'll go away, and you backspace. I'm going to put LSFD... Um, EMS okay then I'm gonna hit enter and then down here you can change your glasses your the texture your glasses and all that uh, which there's no textures on the I'm sorry glasses are down here so there's the texture glasses which you use your numpad uh, to change the texture four go let goes left uh, six goes right which the only ones that really look legit is like those but the ones that I usually change to are if I can find them I think those are it right there Right there they are, guys. That's the ones I usually use. Um, hats. There is an EMT hat you can use, and I'll show you where it's at here. If I can find it. And there it is right there. It is going to be number 123 on hats. <clears throat> All right. And you can use the six. It's only got two colors, so we're going to stay, stay with what's got the black and the blue there. Uh, and then if you want to, we're going to um, make sure I'm not in the street. We're going to go on down. 
can change the accessories around on your hip. So like, for example, if you're doing the open carry or the concealed carry, you can change that to where you actually have a gun on your side here. And that's going to be, that's going to be number seven or number nine. The nine is the one that sticks out a little further. Number seven puts a little close to your hip. Now, your accessories on your side, um, that's going to be undercoat. So if you move that undercoat, it's gonna change those accessories. See that? So you probably wanna just leave it there or you can just look around, you know, kind of change around and look at which one you want. I kind of like to choose that one right there because I've got the uh, extra holsters and all that. So I will a lot of times choose that one and then I'll go down to armor for my, my walkie talkie on my shoulder. And this is going to be, this is going to be, I really like that one, that one's cool. Um, this is going to be number, um, no, no, not the decals, take the decals off. This is going to be number uh, 14 or 15, whichever one you choose for the middle of your chest or the side of your arm. Put this on the side of my arm, on my shoulder. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, let me name my thing again. I accidentally exited it out. LSFD. Um, EMS. All right, and once you've got everything you want, guys and girls, go down to save and continue. And you now have your first outfit created. So when you want to come into the game, you open up your menu and you would go to wardrobe and you would just click on that outfit and he'll automatically be dressed into it. Now, we're, we are going to create a firefighter outfit as well. Um, so let's go back down to EUP Serve and Rescue, go to LSFD, and let me see. Let me see which one it is here, the full gear. So this is going to be our full gear right here. Uh, so again, you want to go back. You want to go up to wardrobe, uh, create outfit, and this one's going to be, um, you can just put something like um, full gear, all right? So we'll put like full gear. Now I'm going to change the hat just because that's a little bit of a perverted uh, antic right there on the hat. So I'm going to change it to, I want it to be LSFD. Remember we're LSFD. So just change it to, or you can leave it the way you want if you want to. It's completely up to you. Um, they do have the, there's the Blaine County Fire Department hats right there, LSFD. So we'll just go with that orange one right there. We'll use that one, the captain hat. Um, that's pretty much all you have to change in here and then you hit save and continue. So now you have an, uh, a first responder outfit and you have a firefighter outfit. Now we're gonna create an EMT outfit. Back down to EUP Serve and Rescue. And we wanna go to, let's go to LSCOFD. Because this is where a lot of the EMT uh, outfits are going to be, like these right here. Um, these are actually pretty cool. Um, so we'll do we'll do that one. We're going to go back, back again. We're going to go up to wardrobe and create the outfit. Now this one, you can just name this one something like EMT, okay? And then if you want a hat, you go down here and go to hat, and you want to go down to that one that we went to that had the the medic hat which was 123, right? So this one's gonna be uh, blue, so we'll leave it blue. And then if you want glasses, there's your glasses right there. I usually put uh, these types of glasses on my guy right here. Um, let's see, where's, where's the ones that I want? All right, so right there's the ones I usually use for my EMT. And then I'll go down. Um, accessories, again, accessories. If you want that open carry, guys, um, that pistol on your side, you want to go to accessories, um, and you just want to change that accessory. Oh, not accessories, I'm sorry. Um, it's Yeah, it, it would be accessories. So if you want to leave the, 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 te the stethoscope around your neck, then don't change it. But if you want that open carry on your side and to be realistic about it, then you would want to go down in your accessories to where that pistol is, which is going to be, what did we say, number nine? and number seven right there, okay? But it's gonna take your st your stethoscopes around your neck away, so uh, whatever you guys wanna choose. Armor, same thing, guys. You can go down to armor and uh, you can, we'll actually put this one in the middle of our chest to make it a little different. Then hit save and continue. And now you have a first responder outfit, full gear of a firefighter, and an EMT outfit, okay? So there you go, there's that right there, guys. There is EUP Law and Order for you. That's menu, serve and rescue, and all that. Now, Kiflom, 
Kiflam ID replacement, guys and girls. Kiflam ID replacement. So all that does, uh, just in case you have to ID somebody, and you stop the pad. We're gonna open. The, we're gonna open the menu up if I can get it to work right without him opening a stupid door. And when you ask for ID instead of him saying Kiflam, he's gonna say this. Let's see some ID. Huh? All right. So it replaces him saying Kiflam, and actually does an actual ID. So now that we're done with him, uh, we'll go ahead and just knock him out real quick. All right, and then we're going to go over here. Realistic gun sounds, guys. Realistic gun sounds. Pull your pistol out. All right, and this is the sound you're going to get. And now, remember, this has changed all the weapon sounds in your game. So any weapon you pull out, it's going to sound different, okay? So, for example, if I go to weapons, I go over and I go down to, um, let's say, the carbine rifle, okay? Right, it's gonna change all the sounds. All right, so let me uh, let me get rid of that. Nope, 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 not that. Get rid of the carbine. There we go. All right, so now that we got that part covered, better radiance. Okay, guys, better radiance. Now we're gonna have to spawn that ELS car. So open up your simple trainer by hitting F3. We're gonna go to vehicle spawning, emergency, and police cruiser. Okay. And again, you're gonna turn on your lights and you will notice they are a lot brighter, okay? A lot brighter. And like I told you guys with ELS, you can fix your Coronas and all that by holding down uh, left alt and tapping the one right there to get to 30. <clears throat> all the way through five, guys. Just as long as you're holding down that left alt, it will fix it, okay? Just like that. It's gonna fix it. So again, I'm gonna show you guys this trick again. So hold down your left alt and hit, uh, just tap numbers one through six on top of the keyboard until you get to 30. I'm on four right now. And you guys can see the strobe lights start to pop up. And five is as high as you can go. You can tap the six, but it's not gonna do anything. All right, and there's that. Now, after you get this set, guys, keep in mind, you can hit left, you can hit right control P to exit out of that. Uh, right control P brings up your ELS box and right control P deactivates that box all right so once you get it set all right now we're going to test our siren we we installed the touch master delta okay so you want to be stage three lighting and we're gonna we're gonna turn our sirens on remember how i showed you how to do it we're gonna do dual sirens that is your touch master delta guys and girls that's what the horn sounds like now when you whip your sirens That's what it sounds like, okay? So, we got that better radiance and the Touch Master Delta. That is pretty much it, guys. That's all we did for Open IV modifications because that's all we need. Like I said, to be a firefighter in an EMS uh, in LSPFR, you do not need near as many plugins, callouts, or Open IV modifications. So, we're going to be going back on the desktop, guys, and I think we're going to be installing the requirements at this point. Let me look at my notes. Uh, yeah, we'll be installing the requirements on the next step, so I will see you guys back on the desktop. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so back on the desktop. Uh, now we're gonna requ we're gonna install a few requirements. Now let me uh, plainly uh, explain why we're installing the heap adjuster, the pack file limit adjuster, and Lenny's mod loader. We'll also be installing a game config through Lenny's mod loader. We gotta have Lenny's mod loader to install the LML files from Connor's callouts, okay? So we gotta have those files for, we gotta have Lenny's mod loader for that. Uh, the heap adjuster and the pack file limit adjuster, we're installing those just in case later on if you guys wanna go back and watch my tutorial on, let's say, the Medic 4523, okay? Or you wanna install any kind of DLC pack. Installing the heap adjuster now and the pack file limit adjuster and the game config is going to keep your game from crashing because if you install any kind of DLC, and then you don't have the heap adjuster pack file or you don't have the game config in your game is going to crash immediately okay so i'm saving you the heart the headache it's not going to do any it's not going to affect your game at all by having these okay so i'm just going ahead and showing you guys how to install these so that you can install dlc packs later on if you decide to okay with that being said guys and girls let's go ahead and click the link down there for the heap adjuster I believe that is the order we have them in. Let me see here. 
Let me make sure. Yep, the heap adjusters first. So uh, let's go ahead and we are going to scroll down, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, heap limit adjuster, 650 megabytes of heap. Go ahead and click download right here. All right. Uh, and put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. And then moving on to the very next one is going to be our pack file limit adjuster. Okay. Go ahead and click download here. Again, put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. And last but not least is going to be Lenny's Mod Loader. Okay, now we're going to go on and scroll down and click download. And you want the main file, the one that says 041. You want to download that and uh, put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. Once you get them all downloaded, let's close out. Okay, and let me make sure because I did download it again because I wasn't sure if I had the latest version. So let me pull this out and see if it overwrites the other one. It did not, so it's a good thing I downloaded it. Let me get rid of this one. You guys will have the latest version. No worries on that. But I had to download the newest version, okay? So, with that being said, guys, we're going to need our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Go ahead and open it up. Um, remember how to get to it, guys. Right-click on your file explorer and click the one that says Grand Theft Auto 5 shortcut or just Grand Theft Auto 5, all right? This is going to be the one we need right here. Again, guys... Um, you can go ahead and delete those logs right there. You won't need them unless your game crashes. So let's go ahead and delete that out of there. Um, and then go ahead and uh, just make sure if you delete your logs folder, that's the only thing you have highlighted, okay? Don't don't highlight accidentally like one thing up here and then one thing like your logs and have something delete, uh, highlighted down here on the bottom that you can't see because then when you hit delete, it's going to delete both files. So make sure only the logs are highlighted, okay? Go ahead and open up the heap adjuster. And you want only, now if your heap adjuster comes with two, uh, like an ASI and an INI, the only one you need is the .ASI, okay? But it should only come with the .ASI. So, in this file, you're going to need the gt5.heapadjuster.asi. You're going to grab it, pull it into your main directory like this, and you're going to drop it in. Alright, and then refresh, close out of that, and get rid of the shortcut. Pack file limit adjuster, we're going to pull that up, open it up. Highlight everything in here, hold down your control key, and deselect the README, okay? You want the pack file limit adjuster configuration study and the pack file limit adjuster ASI. Grab both of those, pull them into your main directory, and drop them in. Um, and I'm going to wrap this up here in a minute, guys, because i got to go live here in an hour. But you guys will never know. You'll know I went live, but you will never know the, time, the difference of the time. <laughs> go ahead and refresh it, ladies and gentlemen, and then close out of this and get rid of that shortcut. Now, Lenny's Mod Loader. Let's go ahead and open this up. A lot of people get confused on this mod loader because it's it tends to be confusing for some people. But you want to go right here to where it says mod loader and open that up, okay? We are going to highlight every single thing in here, okay? And you are going to hold down the control key and deselect the one that says place all this in the game root. Deselect that file, okay? Let me double check here and make sure we got everything. All right, now everything else you've got highlighted, make sure place on the game root is deselected. Grab everything you see here, pull it into your main directory just like this, and you just want to drop it in like that, okay? And then refresh it. You should now have an LML folder right here in your main directory. All right, let's close out of that. Um, don't delete it. Sorry about that, guys. Open it back up. Uh, and now this mod manager folder right here, guys, you can open it and look at it, but you don't really need to do that. All you need to do is grab the folder itself. This is mod manager right here, the way I've got it. Pull it in your main directory and drop it in, okay? And then refresh it. So now you should have one that says LML and one that says mod manager. That's okay. That's exactly the way it should be. Close out of that and delete that shortcut. Now, if you go over here in your main directory and open up the mod manager, you are now going to see a mod manager UI right here with the blue icon beside it. If you double click that, okay, it's going to open up Lenny's mod loader. And if you go down here, you will see um, these different areas. Now, if you go to settings, you can change this to whatever color you want. So, for example, you can go like this. You can go blue light, uh, brown dark, brown light, cobalt dark, cobalt light. I like to, um, for my firefighter file, because my firefighter file, I like to do the um, the red dark right there. This is the one I like to pick. Now, once you get the color you want, guys, go over here and click this little uh, save changes thing right here. That way it saves it. Once you're done, guys, just go ahead and close out of that because I am going to end it right here so I can get me something to eat. And then I can go live. So, once we come back to the video, we'll start. Uh, next, we're going to be installing the callouts after this. So, I will see you guys 
in the next part of this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've decided to change it up just a little bit. Instead of going into the install and the callouts, we're going to install the vehicles and then we're going to restart the PC and then we're going to install our callouts, okay? So, with that being said, guys and girls, let's go ahead and click the first link down there for our ambulance, which is going to be our 2015 Ford F550 ambulance. Uh, if you'll look at it here, ladies and gentlemen, it is very nice. Uh, there is no light bar on this ambulance, but nonetheless, it is a very nice ambulance. The lights are very beautiful and bright. The inside, as you can see, is very, very detailed right there, guys. It's very detailed. Um, let's go ahead, and if I can get to the next one. There we go. So there is the pictures of the ambulance. Um, and there you go, guys. Let me go ahead and close out of that. Uh, so all you're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to scroll down, and you're going to click download this file right here. Now, just know that every vehicle that we're downloading and installing is EOS. It's the only vehicles I work with. I do not do, I do not mess with or install non-ELS vehicles. I just don't. ELS is the way to go. Um, so, uh, anyway, guys, go ahead and scroll to the download this file and click on that. And just put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. And then moving on to the very next one is going to be our 2015 fire department tahoes if you click on here guys you will see these are also very nice um just very nice vehicles guys and um these are the ones that i use as a matter of fact um all right and then we just want to scroll down here click download this file right here so you guys can see guys in my time here it's 12 26 a.m i've been working on this tutorial i've had to jump out jump back in jump out jump back in i've done went live and now i'm back here again uh, but just click download this file, guys. Again, put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. Moving on to the next one is going to be our P Pierce LAFD based fire truck, okay? And if you click on this, guys, this is going to be the the uh, fire truck that we're replacing the vanilla with. And the ambulance we're installing is also going to replace your vanilla ambulance, okay? So you'll have a more realistic looking ambulance and a more realistic look looking fire truck if you happen to call them up on the scene. Or if you want to use them. Um, once you get that downloaded, guys, scroll down here and click download right here. And then once you get that downloaded, the last thing we're going to be installing in this part of the tutorial here is going to be improved engine sounds, okay? Uh, this is going to make your V8 sounds sound like a V8, okay? So scroll down and click download this file. Once you get everything downloaded, guys and girls, let me grab my, uh, let me grab my improved engines here real quick. Um... Let me grab my improved engines here real quick, guys and girls. Give me just one second. Um, right here it is. That's the one I need. There we go. All right, so once we get everything downloaded, uh, and your ambulance will download uh, as new update. I'm not sh I'm not too sure why the creator done it like that. I don't know why he just didn't put ambulance in the file. I mean, if you guys want to, you can always go like this, and you can re rename an ambulance if you want to. Uh, but it will be downloaded as new update, like the, just the way it looks right there. So we're going to need our, um, oops, sorry about that, guys. We're going to need our open IV. So let's go ahead and open up our open IV. And in our open IV, guys, again, you want to make sure you are in edit mode. That edit mode button is blue, okay? Make sure it is blue, all right? Once you're in edit mode, go ahead and go over to the side column and click on mods, all right? And then you want to click on update, time 64. I'm going to say this nice and slow, all right? Next is going to be DLC packs, and we're going to scroll down, and we're going to click on Patch Day 20 right here. Double click that, and then you want to double click on DLC.RPF, Time 64, Levels, GTA 5, and then Vehicles.RPF. Now again, I highly recommend you guys saving this pathway, go to Favorites. Click Add to Favorites and click Add. Now, the next pathway we're going to have to have right after this one is going to be our ELS pathway, okay? So go up here in your side column. You're going to need this ELS pathway, guys. Go up here and click on ELS and click on Pack Default, all right? Again, save this pathway. This will not be the last time you ever come here, okay? Add to Favorites, Add, okay? Now, go up here to your Open IV, click Backspace, and Back again, all right? until you are back in the um, vehicle pathway. If you need to get back there, go to Favorites and click on Vehicles.RPF. It'll bring you right back here. If you didn't save it, then back the video up and save it like I told you to, okay? Um, 
So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and open up our ambulance, which is going to be the new update. Double click on new update folder. And then you want to highlight only the three files. Okay, deselect that readme if you highlight it. You want to highlight the ambulance.yft, the ambulance.ytd, and the ambulance high. Dot yft those are the only three you need highlighted right now okay do not highlight the xml do not highlight the readme first okay just those three you need highlighted once you get those guys grab them drag them and drop them in your open iv just like that okay then you want to go up here to favorites okay and click on pack underscore default in gta5 all right now go back over to your winrar and grab the ambulance.xml Drag it into your open IV and drop it just like that, okay? Then go back to your favorites and go back to vehicles.rpf. Close out of that ambulance window and get rid of that shortcut. All right. Next up is going to be our 2015 Fire Department Tahoe. Open it up. Double click on the folder right here. And in this scenario, guys, we're going to do this as a replace. Now, being the fact that we've installed the... Um, the heap adjuster, the pack file limit adjuster, and we're going to be installing a game config. You very well could do this as an add on because that's considered a DLC. Okay, if you go in here, you will see it right here. All right, but we're going to do this just stay on replace. We're going to click on replace right here. We're going to click on the Chief 861 Legacy, and then you want to highlight the share of files right here, just those, not the XML. Highlight everything but the XML. Okay. Um, you should be back in the install, um, the vehicle install pathway. If you're not, go to favorites and click on vehicles.rpf. It'll take you right back to it. Highlight those three share files only. Do not highlight the XML. Do not highlight it, okay? Grab them, drag them, and drop them in your open IV like that, okay? And then you want to go over here to favorites. Actually, let's go to our WinRAR. Uh, yeah, actually, go over to open IV. Sorry, guys. Go to favorites. And go back down to pack underscore default GT5. Grab that sheriff2.xml, pull it in your open IV, and drop it, okay? Now, the easier way to do this is go in your open IV and go back just like that, okay? Now, go back in your WinRAR. Next, you want to double click on the Fire Marshal 860 right here, okay? Again, grab only those three share files, okay? Not the XML. Grab those three share files. You should be back in your vehicles.rpf. If you are not, go to favorites and click on vehicles.rpf. It'll bring you right here, okay? Highlight those three share files. Do not highlight the XML. Drag them and drop them into your open IV just like that, okay? Then go to favorites and go back to pack default, okay? Grab the sheriff.xml. Drag it and drop in your open IV just like that, okay? All right. Let's go back again in our open IV. Now, if you want to see what these vehicles look like, guys, go into your open IV. And first of all, you can go to the ambulance.yft, okay, right here. Go to that one. This is going to show you what your ambulance is going to look like right here, okay? There's your ambulance. Then go down to your uh, sheriff.yft. This will show you... Why is it showing that? One sec, guys. Let me try this one more time. There we go. Now, let me backspace and go forward again. Okay, I'm not sure why it did that. That was really weird. But there is your Los Angeles 2015 Fire Department Tahoe right there, guys and girls. Um, and then if you go down to the Sheriff2.yft, okay? That will show their other ones. So the difference between the two is the sheriff, the only the sheriff has the one without the light bar on top of it, okay? The other one, the sheriff2.yft, has the light bar with the lights and the windows, okay? So that's the difference between the two. So once we get that done, let me go over here to, um, let me go over here to favorites and go to uh, pack default and double check these. Okay, we got them all in. Let's go back. And we're going to close out of this WinRAR and we're going to delete that shortcut. Okay. Next up is going to be our fire truck. Open that up. LS, uh, LAFD based fire truck. 
and you want to highlight those four fire truck files okay deselect the readme docs if you highlighted it you want to highlight all the fire truck files except for the xml do not highlight that grab these four fire truck files pull them in to your open ivy you should be in the install pathway if you're not go to favorites and click on vehicles.rpf that's it'll bring you to here okay go ahead and drag and drop these in all right and then go to favorites and go to pack default then go up here in your WinRAR, grab the firetruck.xml, drag in your open IV and drop it. Okay. Go back to favorites and go to vehicles.rpf. Close out of that WinRAR and get rid of that shortcut. Don't open that improved engine jet, guys. We're just going to have a look at the fire truck. So double click on the firetruck.yft. All right. See that, guys? There is your fire truck. Now, remember, the fire truck and the ambulance that we're installing is going to uh, replace the base fire truck and ambulance in the game. So, in other words, the vanilla version, okay? It's going to replace those. And right here, guys, again, is your ambulance. All right. And then here is your fire truck. And then here is your fire department Tahoe right there. And, uh, yeah, everything's there, guys. You just got to click on the .yfts to see them. Now, if you want to change deliveries and everything like that, which we're not going to get in that tutorial on this one, but if you want to change deliveries, you would go down here to, say you want to change delivery on the sheriff, uh, you would go to the uh, sheriff.ytd and then go in here, and then you would find your deliveries. Uh, but that's a whole other tutorial, guys. Trust me, it's a whole other tutorial. So, with that being said, Let's go ahead and go back inside our Open IV and go to Mods, and then go to Update, Update.rpf, Common, Data, Levels, GTA 5. Right here is your Vehicles.meta. That's the one we're going to be working with, guys. Again, go to Favorites, click Add to Favorites, and click Add, okay? Open up your improved engines WinRAR, double click on the folder, and double click on the meta files folder. Grab the vehicles.meta, pull it in your open IV. Right here, guys, by the vehicles.meta right here. Drag it and drop it. You're good to go. Close out of that and delete the shortcut. Alright. Then go back over here to open IV, click file, and click close all the archives. Okay. Go back up. And let's close over Open IV. I'm going to go ahead and refresh my directory. I usually always do that for Open IV installation. Uh, and we are going to now restart our PCs. Then we're going to come back in and we are going to install the callouts. Then we're going to go in the game and I'm going to show you the callouts and I'm going to show you the vehicles. Okay. So I will see you guys once we restart the PC. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So now we are going to install the callouts. Um, for this part of the tutorial. This will be the last part of the tutorial. If you guys want any kind of visual mods, um, I'll try to remember to link my visual mod tutorial in this uh, video here. Um, I'll try to link it in the description of it, if I can, if I have the room. Because uh, there's a lot of links, so I'll just try to link it in the video here, guys. Anyway, click the link down there for... I don't know why that just popped up. I have no idea why that just popped up. Uh, that is going to be okay. There we go. All right, so click the link for fire call out. Sky's going to bring us this page right here. We are going to scroll down and you're going to click download this file right here. Okay, and just put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. Once you get that, also, guys, you can find Panos's Patreon right here. If you go to his Patreon, um, he's got some really cool early access stuff through his uh, fire call outs, which I am his, I'm one of his Patreons. Um, and he's got some really cool stuff. You see, if you guys ever watch my episodes, see me grabbing the med bag from the back of the fire truck or the stretcher, you know, putting the patients on the stretcher and all that. That's what you get to the Patreon. Now, the public version does not offer that stuff, but you can always go to the Patreon and purchase the tier. Um, and I will show you guys here real quick. You go to his Patreon, and you guys will notice right here is my membership is uh, I'm a firefighter, okay? And with the firefighter, uh, which is thirteen dollars a month, I get all of the early access. I get a tag in his Discord, so it's pretty cool, guys. It's actually um, it's it's worth it. It is totally worth it. Um, big shout out to Panos for his time and creativity uh, in this mod. Man, he puts a lot of work into this, 
So we are going to go, um, let me close out of this. Anyway, guys, go ahead and click download this file and put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. Moving on to the very next one, EMS Callouts by Connor FTW. Big shout out to Connor. Now, guys, we are going to want to leave this page up after we download it, and I'll show you how to go back to it. You want to click download this file right here. Click agree and download. And the only one you want right here, we are going to be installing the LML because we have to install that part, but we're not going to download it from here, okay? The only one you want right here is the one that says emscallouts.rar, okay? So click download right here. And I'll go ahead and download it with you guys and show you what I'm talking about because of the way that you have to go back. So once it starts downloading and once it's finished downloading, there it goes right there. I'm going to go ahead and close mine out because I don't need it. But once it's done downloading, you're going to go up here and you're going to go back, okay? Because you want to have this page open. we got to have it for the download with Mom Manager, okay? So make sure you keep your EMS Callouts page open, all right? Moving on to the next one. I did include some XML files for Connor's Callouts because he does not have them in the WinRAR itself. I do have permission from Connor to upload these as I did last time and I have it uh, this time as well. So what you're going to do, guys, you're going to go in here and you're going to click on this EMS XML folder if it shows it like to you like that. Now, once you get to this part right here or if it brings you straight to this part, you're just going to download these each one of these individually because we're going to have to have them for the ambulances, okay? So you're going to go over here to the right where those three little dots are. You're going to click. You're going to go down and click download, all right? You're going to do this on each one of these. We are going to need all four of these XMLs, okay? So I've uploaded them for you guys so you all can have access to them, okay? Without them, the ambulances that comes in fire in uh, EMS Callouts by Connor, uh, the lights will not work on the ambulances, okay? So make sure you download these. Uh, once you get that, we're going to go ahead and go on to the next one. The last one's going to be the game config. Now, we don't need to do anything here just yet, okay? Like I said, we're installing the heap adjuster, pack file limb adjuster, and the game config in case you guys want to install a DLC later on. This is already in your game and will not crash your game because if you don't have this stuff installed and you install a DLC, it's going to crash your game, okay? So leave this page up as well. Um, and then let's just go ahead and minimize our browser. Don't close it, just minimize it. Now, we're going to need our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory and we're going to need OpenIV. So make sure you open up your OpenIV and click on Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5. All right. Once you have your main directory open, open up your Fire Callouts uh, WinRAR, double click on the folder, double click on Grand Theft Auto 5, and then you just want to grab the LSPFR and the plugins folder only, just those two, and you want to pull them into your main directory like this, and you just want to simply drop them in, okay? And they're going to go in, there they go. Close out of that and get rid of that shortcut. All right, now Connor's callouts are a little bit different, okay? So before we install these, Let's go over here to our directory because there's one other thing I wanted to show you about uh, EUP. Go to plugins and then right here go to EUP and then go into your settings, okay? Now this is going to be the key that you use to open up your uh, EUP. Now down here for controller users, you'll notice it says left thumb and A. So if you click left thumb, if you click, I'm sorry, if you click A and left thumb at the same time, it will pull up your EUP menu. So for me, I don't like having this. Now, if you don't use controller, do not change this because um, you're going to need it on keyboard. But I just like to put that to none because I don't ever use my F11 um, for my EUP. I always just use my controller. Um, but if you use keyboard only, do not change that, okay? But if you did change it, go ahead and click File and click Save. Now, keep in mind, you can change this to anything you want as long as it is a function key. So, in other words, for example... F1 through F12. It has to be one of those keys, okay? Uh, with that being said, let's close out of that. Let's go back and let's go on over to our LSPFR folder here. So right now you should be in common. Grand Theft Auto 5 plugins LSPFR, okay? We are now going to scroll down and we are going to go to the Fire Callouts INI file right here. Open that up. All right. And this is going to be how you're going to access certain things on fire callouts. Now, right here, notice it says L for flashlight, but also notice that L brings up our immersive dispatch. So every time you hit L to turn your flashlight, you're going to pull up your immersive dispatch menu in the game, okay? So we're going to change this from an L to say, and you guys change it to whatever you want as long as it is a letter and it is capital, okay? So we're going to change that to let's see something we don't use outside we'll change it to a capital h okay for light headlight or whatever all right but it is for a light on your body it's for a body light 
so we'll do that um, and I think that's pretty much it um, okay so right here where it says open menu now our fire callouts menu is gonna be F2 okay so that can be left alone everything else is good looks like um, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and click file and click save and then close out now we're gonna go back to our main game directory right here we're gonna refresh it and we're gonna open up Connor's callouts in the WinRAR we're gonna double click on the EMS callouts folder and we're gonna double click we will come back to all this okay for right now we're gonna double click on Grand Theft Auto 5 alright now Keep in mind, we have an up-to-date regenerativeui.dll, so we do not need this one. Hold down your control key and highlight the plugins and the LSP4 folder. Make sure the regenerativeui.dll is not selected, and make sure this is not selected. The only two you need is plugins and LSP4. Grab those two files, pull them into your main directory. At this point, guys, you should be in Steam Library, Steam Apps Common, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Your pathway is your lifeline, guys. All right? Grab the plugins, LSP4, and drop it in just like that, okay? They're going to go in. And then we want to go back in our WinRAR, and we want to we want to minimize our directory. Now we are going to now. If you notice in here, it says LML files. Now you can do it from here if you already have the LML file installed and it's already active. And I'll show you what I mean by that here in just a second. Okay. So once we go back, we're going to go to our OIV files, which says required. Open that up. You want to grab this EMS EMS callouts OIV CHH OIV. You want to drag it to your desktop and drop it like that. Then you want to go to the one above it that says EMS Stretcher. Double click on that. Grab the EMS Callouts plus plus dot OIV. Pull it to your desktop and drop it like that, okay? Now, once we get that, we are done with this. We can close out of that and get rid of the shortcut. All right? I'll show you here in a minute where these EMS dot XMLs come in handy, okay? Um, if for some reason that you guys can't download these, let me know and I will I will re-upload them and pin them in the comments, okay? But they should be good to go. Um, now, let's open up our open IV. All right, and bring it over here. Now, we want to click those three little dots right there for open package installer, all right? And you want to go underneath where it says this PC and click desktop. The first, we're going to do these in order. So the first one is going to be the uh, CHH. So double click on the OIV, CHH.OIV, double click it. And then click install, click mods folder, and click confirm installation. Always pick the mods folder, guys. Always select your mods folder. It's always, it's it's just important that you do that. Um, and then click close. Now we can grab this um, EMS callouts uh, chh.oiv and drop it into our recycle bin. And then we're going to do the next one here if I can get it to work right. Go ahead and click those three little dots and open IV again. Guys, make sure you are in edit mode. Make sure your edit mode is on, okay? Go ahead and click on desktop. And then click the next one, the EMS callouts plus plus dot OIV. And double click it. Click install. Click mods folder. Click confirm installation. There's one other thing we have to do. We have to do a little bit of coding with this part. So we're going to go ahead and do it real quick so that I don't forget to do it, okay? Um, go ahead and click close. And grab that OIV file on your desktop and drop it into your recycle bin. All right. Now, before we install these right here and before we install the game config and the EMS callouts through the Linux mod loader, we're going to go into mods. All right. Go to OpenIV, go to mods, go to update, update.rpf, common, and data. Now, I want you guys to scroll down and find the DLC list.xml. Okay make sure you're in edit mode i want you to highlight that dlc list.xml right click and click edit all right and then scroll down and if you'll notice i'm not too sure why it's like this but if you'll notice this line is not matched with these lines so we're going to go over to the beginning of this line right here and we're going to click on the beginning of it and you're just going to hit the space bar all the way over until it's matched up right there see how it's matched up now it's perfectly in line once that's in there guys go ahead and click save all right now if you want to double check to see if you got it right double click on the dlc list xml scroll down and right there you will see it okay so i'm not too sure why it's like that i'll have to talk to connor about that uh let's go ahead and let's close out and go back up and now we are going to go up to our favorites 
and go to pack default. You guys should have saved this pathway, okay? You should have saved this. All right? And this is where our XML file is going to go. We're going to grab all of these EMS.XMLs that you have on your desktop. You're going to grab them. You're going to drag them and throw them into your OpenIV. You should be in ELS pack default in your OpenIV. Grab them, drag them, and drop them in just like that. Okay, you should have EMS 1, 2, 3, and 4 right there. All right. So they should be in there. Once you get that, guys, click File and click Close All the Archives. We can now close out of OpenIV. All right. And if you still have these on your desktop afterwards, guys, you can go ahead and just drop them in your recycle bin like that. Now, Connor's uh, callouts through Lenny's Mod Loader. Okay, let's open up our main directory. And we want to go into the Mod Manager folder right here. Okay, you should be in Steam Library, Steam Apps, comma, Grand Theft Auto 5. Click on, double click on the Mod Manager. Okay. And then you want to double click on the Mod Manager dot. UI right there. Double click it. Remember, I showed you guys this earlier. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna adjust my window here just a little bit. I don't like it to be that bold. All right, now we're gonna go down here. When you first start installing your callouts, they're gonna start right here. If you click that little arrow pointing down right there, this is view current and past downloads. If you click it right here, and once you start installing stuff, you're gonna see it installing here. Once it is done installing, if you click the one above it. They will be in here once they're done, okay? So we're going to click on that arrow. We are going to minimize this. Do not close it, guys. Minimize it, all right? Next thing you want to do is open back up your EMS callouts, okay? Remember I said to leave these open, okay? As well as your game config. Go ahead and scroll down. And a while ago, guys, remember earlier we clicked download this file? We do not want to do that again. We want to click download with mod manager. Click download with mod manager, okay? You want to do that? Click Agree and Download, and you want to select the top one that says, or whichever one it is, EMS Callouts LML.RAR, okay? Make sure that's the one you pick, because if you pick the other one, it's going to mess it all up, okay? So pick the EMS Callouts LML.RAR. Click Download, all right? And if you open up that Lenny's Mod Loader, you will see it start to download inside of here. There it goes right there. It's downloading, all right? Now, since that is downloading right now, we're going to go ahead and minimize that. We're going to go over to the game config, all right? And we are and I do have a link in the description for the game config, guys. Click on that. And we're going to scroll down. And you're going to do the same exact thing, guys. Click download with mod manager right here. All right? And we want the one for obviously 2372 because that is the current version that we are on. So click the one for 2372. All right? And if you'll open that back up, you will now see the game config pop in there. There's the game config. There it goes. And if you go up here, you'll see the game config is already done. Okay. The game config is done. All right. EMS is ext extracting. Okay. And now that they're done, you go up here. They are all installed. There's your game config right there. There's your EMS callouts. All right. We are now safe to close out of this. So go ahead and. Let me make sure here. Um, let me actually pull this back out for a minute. I do want to point out a couple things here, guys. Uh, right here, make sure, just in case they're not, guys, make sure these check boxes right here where it says enabled, make sure those are all checked because if they're not, they won't work in the game, okay? Over here, where it says overwrite, make sure those are unchecked, all right? Uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and let's close out of our Linux mod loader and we can close out of our web browser, all right? We are done with the callouts guys we're done with that part now let's refresh and let's close out now that we've got all that installed i'm pretty sure we got everything we did lenny's mod loader we did ems callouts fire callouts we did the ems.xml's we adjusted the dlc list.xml we downloaded ems callouts through mod manager game config uh and we are good to go let me go back into the um Main directory, guys. We're going to go to plugins. Um, and let me go in here to EMS callouts. Now, when you pull up the EMS callouts in the game, this is the banner you're going to see in the background. This will be the banner that you see. All right. I'm going to go back, go to LSPDFR, and you will see Connor's EMS callouts are right here. And if you scroll down, uh, right here, that's the text document. So there is no, I, I didn't think there was an INI file, but I just wanted to look because that's just a text document right there. All right, guys, so let's go back. 
Um, the default key to open up Connor's callouts is F6, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, it's F6. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh our directory, close out. Now, what I want you guys to do before we go into game is we are going to restart our PCs, and then we are going to load up Rage. But the way you're going to load up Rage is the way we've done it before because Connor's callouts is a plugin. okay? There's a plugin in there. So you want to click Rage and immediately hold down the left shift key, okay? So this one, I'm going to show you how to do this before you restart your PCs, okay? You're going to, once, you, once you're in here, guys, go to Plugins. Go down to Load These Plugins on Startup. And if you'll notice, there's EMS Callouts. Go ahead and click Check All. You only have to do this the first time you install the mod, okay? After that, you can load it up just the regular way, okay? Go back up to Load All Plugins on Startup. And then you can save and launch, okay? I'm going to exit because I am going to restart. So I will see you all inside of LSPFR. All right, guys and girls. So being the fact that we loaded in through Rage, um, the way that we did, you are going to probably spawn in the game just like this off duty. So we're going to click F4, F-O-R-C-E, and then hit Tab. Now remember, it's going to take a little bit longer to load up your game because of all the plugins we've installed. All right, so hit Enter. And I hope you guys re uh, restarted your PCs. All right, there we go. And it is loaded up, all right? So everything is loaded up. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and get to a... Um, I'm going to get into a... Okay, so we're going to go over everything we just installed. Um, let me get my notes pulled up here real quick, guys and girls. All right, so... The first responder Tahoes, all right? Let's go ahead and pull up our simple trainer by hitting F3. We're going to go up to vehicle spawning. We're going to go down to emergency. And remember the Tahoes were under Sheriff and Sheriff 2. That's going to be your Sheriff Cruiser and Sheriff SUV. So we hit Sheriff Cruiser. All right. Let me go ahead and do the other one too. All right. This is going to be your Tahoes right here, okay? Stage one, stage two, and stage three. As you guys can see, these are very beautiful, very, very nice vehicles. Very nice vehicles, nice computer system, just very nice. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And the sirens. All right, there's that one. Let's go ahead and hop in the next one here. Now, these are very nice because I love using these for my patrols, guys, when I'm doing firefighter patrols. Or first responder patrols. There's your stage one on this one, guys. Stage two. And stage three. Now, remember, guys, if you pull up your ELS box, right control P is in Paul. Backspace. You can always adjust the Kronos on this. Remember what I told you guys? You hold down the right, the left alt, and just start hitting the one. And you do this all the way through number six. The number's on top of your keyboard, okay? And if you will see it, you'll start to see... The strobes start to come to life. Shout out to my brother Jeffrey Gamer for showing me this. My brother! Alright. There's that one. That is number four. This is going to be the last one, number five, right here. And that adjusts your coronas on the vehicle. So if you'll notice now, let's go ahead and shut that box up. You'll notice now, guys, you have strobe lights on a stage two. See that? The stage 3, that's what your stage 3 looks like. See that, guys? It looks really, really nice. So them strobe lights. All right, so there's that. And now, remember, guys, we replaced our in-game ambulance and fire trucks. So let's go back to our simple trainer. Go to vehicle spawning, go to emergency, and then we want to go up to ambulance, okay? All right. This is going to be our ambulance. Oh, my goodness. That was not good. <laughs> All right, let's have a look inside the vehicle. Very nice. Nice computer system. Looks very good. You can see the back right through there. All right. I think this has one stage of lighting. Yeah, that's your stage. That's just one stage of lighting. You click it once, and then click it again to, to go down to stage two, then stage one, and right there. So it's kind of bass backwards, I guess you would say, bass backwards. Uh, but if you click it one time, it's going to light it up like that. And then it goes down to stage two, stage one, and there you go. All right. Now for our fire truck, same thing. Let's go ahead and get our um, vehicle spawning here. Emergency. And then we want to go down to uh, the MTL fire truck, okay? 
All right. This is going to be your stage one lighting right there, guys. Turn them headlights off. Stage two. Got a light out. And stage three. Y'all see that? There's a light out right there. Look. Weird, huh? That light is like barely blinking. Really weird. That's weird. It never steady burns like that. Really weird. All right. There is your fire truck, guys and girls. There it is. All right. So now we're not going to take the fire truck to ride over to. Um, I think that was it for that. All right. So we're going to grab one of these Tahoes here. We are going to grab um, this one. And we're going to ride over um, a little bit more out of town here. Um, let's actually go to the airport. Let's go down to the airport. We'll spawn down there. So guys, if you want to spawn, spawn anywhere, just open up your map, map, set a waypoint somewhere, back out, and then hit your delete key on your keyboard. It will automatically spawn you there, okay? All right, so let's go. We're going to go over here. And this is where we're going to test out all the callouts, okay? So. Now, if we hit our F2 key, all right, that is your fire callouts menu. As you can see, uh, you can go to start callout, and these are all your callouts. But keep in mind, we do have callout manager. So if you back out of this and you hit F10 on the keyboard, Fire callouts and EMS callouts are also going to be in your callout menu and your callout manager, and they're going to work there as well. Okay, just kind of keep that in mind. So go back to F2, go to get equipment. In here, you can get a fire extinguisher, a flashlight, a crowbar, and some flares. All right. Now remember, we changed our light to H. If you hit the H on the keyboard, your body light will come on. Okay. Now we're going to turn that off, and if you hit the Z on the keyboard. It pulls out a saw to, to take doors off, okay? If you hit the Z again, it takes it off. Now, if you hit the K on your keyboard, it puts a tank on your back like a breathing tank, okay? If you hit it again, it turns it off, all right? So if you have something on, say, like this, right? And hit the K, that's when you can use that. Hit the H for your light. You always want to have your light on and your tank on when you go into, like, house fires, structure fires, that sort of thing, okay? So we are going to role play out um, a scenario here um, with fire and EMS. So we're going to do both, okay? So with that being said, now Connor's callouts. F6 on the keyboard, as you can see. Uh, there is your stretcher that we installed. If you spawn it. All right, so if you want the actual realistic stretcher, guys, you will have to... Um, in install it uh, from lsp4.com. We're going to delete that because that, you'll have to install the realistic one, okay? Uh, now, fire engine spawning. The fire engine spawning in here, the one that's in the game that he's got, I believe is the same one that we replaced, if I'm not mistaken. It is. All right, so if we go back and go to ambulance spawning, you're going to have four ambulances, okay? That's the XML files that we installed, okay? Let me get over here a little bit. Let me run out this way. Let me exit out. Come on, man. Run out here. All right. I'm going to pull that menu up again, guys. F6 on the keyboard. We're going to go to ambulance spawning. We're going to spawn our first ambulance by clicking on it. There's ambulance one. All right. We're going to go over here. And we're going to spawn ambulance two. Go over here. We're going to spawn ambulance three. And then over here, we are going to spawn ambulance four. Right there. All right. Now, if you'll... Oh, my good, good Lord Jesus. Now, if you'll notice, they all have... They're all different types of ambulances, like the Pillbox Hill Ambulance. There's the Fire Department New York Ambulance. Uh, here's the Los Santos EMS Ambulance. And this is the one I personally like right here, the AMR Paramedic Ambulance. Now, if we hop in here. All right. They all, I think, just have one stage of lighting. So, if you click it, it's going to turn all the lights on. Just like that. That's what your lights look like in the first ambulance inside. That's what it looks like. Very nice inside. All right. We're going to hop out of that. And we will go to a call here, guys, and I'll show you how to do it. Going to hop in the Los Santos CMS ambulance. All right. Turn them on. That's what it looks like. I really like the light bar on this one. I really, I don't know why, but I really like the light bar on this one. I, I truly, truly do. I really do. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get out of that. Let's go over the next ambulance. 
lights is going to be our now this one's really nice as well turn those lights on stage one this got a stage one lighting stage two and stage three there we go all right there's stage three got that one go over the next one it's going to be our pillbox hill medical center ambulance it's got one stage of lighting very nice guys very nice kind of did a good job on these call outs man he did a really good job um okay so we are going to go to we're going to grab this ambulance right over here and we are going to go 10-8 Three, John. Ten four, copy that. If I can get her to understand me today. Three, John, to dispatch. Three, John, sixteen. Go ahead. You can show me ten forty one ten eight. Ten four ten eight. All right. So to keep from waiting on a call, guys, we're gonna go ahead and get through that. We're going to go ahead and we are going to just um, force a call out here. So we're going to go to EMS call outs and we're going to go to uh, unknown medical emergency. We'll do. Citizen well, never mind. Possible 480 in, uh, Multiple vehicle Los collision. International Airport. Units respond code we'll three. take that. All right. You hit left on the D-pad or Y on the keyboard to, to accept it. Or you can accept it like this. Dispatch, you can show me responding code three. Copy that. Three, John, 16. All right, so we got a call to, um, is it, it's back here. Okay, so it's back here. All right, so we're going to, we got a multiple vehicle collision. Put it up, man. That gone, dude. <clears throat> She's going to be right here. Now, at this point, you can, you can tell dispatch you're on scene. Dispatch, you can show me 1023. Roger that, 1023 is backup required negative all right now pretty much you're going to investigate the scene let me go ahead and load up my web our weapons here guys i can't stand to have all them guns and stuff when i'm playing as a firefighter it, it, it honestly annoys me i don't know why all right let me load everything up right here now we have the proper things we need so you can investigate the scene you're gonna you're gonna get a body right here now the only way to get these bodies out of these cars unfortunately um, is to just get up in there and just just pull them out all right that's the only way you can get them out that's the only way to do it all right he's gonna fall down right there and I don't know if there's a way to get this guy out and yeah there's not so what you would have to do is we're gonna have to drive this off of here don't hit the guy don't hit the guy don't hit the guy all right so we'll, we'll put that right there now we can get now we got another guy on the ground over here all right and we got one guy in the vehicle right here is he gonna let me go in so it's asking me to attempt cpr i'm trying to get him out of the vehicle i don't know if it's gonna let me in there or not it may be a little bit there we go there we go okay all right so now we have we have dispatch to um three john 16 check up all right affirmative at this point, if you want to roleplay it out, guys, you can go ahead and click right on d pad to attempt to CPR, or you can do it through Stop the Pet by hitting G, and you can tend to the injured pet, okay? That. We're going to go ahead and attempt CPR. So hit E on the keyboard around the D-pad, and then right there, if you guys seen that, if you didn't catch it, it said press J to declare the victim dead, okay? So if you're doing CPR for so long here and they're not responding, then you can go ahead and click J and it will declare the victim dead. All right, and you're gonna hit the space bar to do CPR. Pretty cool, right guys? Need a hotkey for that on my stream deck. <laughs> All right, so you're probably just gonna have to keep clicking the uh, space bar there. Um, they'll either eventually come to life or you just have to declare them dead and by doing that you just click J and it's going to declare the victim dead he will then stop doing CPR he's going to go into a little of a, of a bit of a heartbreak moment here it looks like he's heartbroken I'm going to grab his nose lean his head back there he goes <laughs> dispatch to um, 3 John 16 bro we changed that affirmative 
three, John sixteen. Roger. Now why don't we have two different set of settings here? I tell you LSPFR sometimes, man. Okay. Let's try this one more time. I'm not sure why it's Okay. Let me reload the settings. All right. So, now again, with stop the pad, you can do the same thing. Instead of attempt the CPR, you can click G on the keyboard and you can go down and tend to edge injured pad, okay? And you can do it like this. Is that Michael? Yo, that's Is that Michael? That is Michael, guys. I did not know that Connor had this in the call. That is brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. That is Michael in the call. Now, see, if you do it this way, it will tell you whether the pet is alive or whether the pet is dead, okay? So, in other words, you don't have to declare, declare, declare them dead yourself. It will tell you automatically. All right? So, being the fact that those two are dead, um, and then we had one more victim right here. Now, see how she's kind of too close to the car? You're going to hit G on the keyboard, and we are going to drag her away from the car so we have a little bit more room to work with her. All right? You're going to use the keyboard to move her uh, just like you would walk. We're going to move her out here, and then just pull down the thumbstick, left thumbstick, or hit the S to lay her down. Just like that. And now you have a little bit more room to work with. And you can call additional EMS to the, to the scene, too, just like this. Dispatch requesting medical. Ambulance. All right, this there comes another ambulance for you, so you don't have to do it by yourself. Um, you will have to be the one to call in tow trucks for the vehicles. So you would want to go like this. Uh, once, well, once the scene is clear. All right, and we're gonna let her tend to. Her. We're gonna let them tend to her, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and call tow for these trucks. You're gonna call three different tows, guys. Dispatch to me at 1051. All right, there's your tow truck. Dispatch to, um, 3 John 16. Check up. Oh, my gosh. We got to do it from the I&I I file. I'm not sure why it's not doing it in the game. We'll do it from the I&I. I. We'll go back to the desktop and show you guys how to do it. Affirmative. Dispatch, send me a tow truck. All right, we get a tow for that one. Required in Los Santos International. Alright, now we're not gonna have this one towed just because it's out of the way and all that. Three, John 16. Check up. Oh my gosh. Affirmative. See what I mean, guys? Three, this is why you would want to have that. This is why you would want to have that feature turned off. Um Try one more time, guys. Let me try this one more time. Officer check in. And see, if you want it on, guys, you can adjust the time of the check in here. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can adjust. So, we'll just put it all the way up, I guess. Um. And you just want to make sure you reload your, um, reload your settings here. Which is probably not going to work, but I'm not sure, too sure why it's not working here, but very weird, very weird. But anyway, um, okay, so now we're going to go to a fire, all right? We're going to go to a fire. So let's go ahead and pull up our simple trainer again. Let's get go vehicle spawning, and we want to get our. Um, we'll do it as a first responder. We'll do this as a first responder, okay? All right. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the fire callouts menu. Go down to start callout, and we're just gonna do a brush fire. All right. Watch, guys. Dispatch, show me en route. Ten four three John sixteen. All right, now if you'll notice, if you'll look on your map, all right, it's going to be all the way up here, okay? But you can always spawn if it's too far away. No worries. You can always spawn. 
And we're going to spawn about right here because I want to. I want you guys to see how the ambient effects DLL really works in this game. It's amazing um, how how you see the smoke and all that in the fire. So we're going to spawn like right there. We're going to go code three. And uh, being the fact that it is a fire, see the smoke, guys. You can see it right there. Look at it down there. Isn't that crazy? Pretty awesome, right? So we're going to get in full gear for this. All right. And make sure your weapons are loaded up so that you have your fire extinguisher on you, okay? We're going to go down here. This is going to be a brush fire. This is usually pretty tough to put out. So once you get on scene, this is going to be your scene right here, okay? Gonna pull over. And we're gonna hop out. Alright. Dispatch requesting fire department. Fire you can call additional fire units, guys, come out here and help you, because you're gonna need it for the for a fire like this, guys. You are going to need it, okay? And at this point, you're just gonna grab your fire extinguisher and you're gonna start putting out the fire. Now, this is why I said to turn on your unlimited ammo for this part. Because if you don't, you're gonna have to keep swapping out your fire extinguisher and getting a new one. Um, because, and this brush fire, guys, they will spread. Because you'll run out and you'll just have to keep switching out over and over again. So, it's better just put on unlimited ammo and make sure that you never run out, okay? Now, these brush fires, they will spread. The, as you're putting them out, they might go out for a minute, but sometimes they'll start right back up, okay? Especially if you own the Patreon version of, of this call out. Man, the fires are so much more realistic. They just really are, guys. I highly recommend doing a Patreon through Panos and what now see guys how it's spreading again. Look at that. See that? See it's spreading again. Somebody on fire. But see how it's done spread again, guys? So that's kinda that's kind of what it does. Um, and that's kind of how it works. Um, but now, like for example, if you have the fire truck, okay? So I'm going to Does this one have that on top of it? This one does not. Okay, this one does not have a hose on top of it. I thought it did, but it doesn't. But there are fire trucks out there you can install that have the fire hose on top of it that you can spray out on the fire and it puts out a lot quicker, okay? So you would just put the fire out at this point, guys. And you want to kind of aim towards the bottom of it or the middle of it. Whichever one works best. The middle usually works best for me. All right, and if you got guys helping you put out the same exact flame, then it usually goes a little bit faster. Just like that. All right. Now, we're gonna, even though this ain't extinguished, we're going to go ahead and go for this. Dispatch, you can show me code 4 1041 tonight. Attention all units. Code 4, no additional officers needed. All right, and then the fire base extinguisher once you go code 4. So, if you're ever on a scene like that for a fire... And you don't want to put it out anymore, you can just go code four and it will extinguish the fire and everybody will leave. Everybody's happy, okay? Let's go ahead and get back into this. I think that's pretty much it, guys, for everything. Um I think that yeah, that's it, guys. That is it. So I mean Citizens reporting a possible four eighty on uh Sonora Freeway. Units respond code three. Dispatch, show me responding code 3. 10-4, copy that. 3, John, 16. But that's going to be it for this tutorial, guys. We finally got it done. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I, I just want to note that we did it this time without the Coastal Callouts. Uh, only because um, Coastal Callouts is a big callout pack. Um, now, nonetheless, Coastal Callouts is an awesome pack. I love using it. Parks does really, really good work, right? Um, he's put a lot of work on those coastal callouts. If you look at the callout pack, it's just humongous. It's probably one of the biggest callout packs out there in LSPFR land. Um, but with that being said, guys, I did it without coastal callouts because um, it does coastal callouts kind of does weigh heavy on the on the system on the PC sometimes, especially if you're running like a mid grade to a lower end PC. Um, and I don't know what kind of PCs you guys have, so I didn't want to put those in. Um, you know, and it start, you know, bogging your PC or bringing it down or anything like that. So we just did it this way. It's a lot easier and it's a lot less harsh on the PC itself. With that being said, guys and girls, subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already and smash that like button for me. There's our red right, right over there. Um, click the bell, click all so you know exactly when I post new content and when I go live as we do live stream five days a week. Um, 
And subscribe, subscribe to my second channel, CJ Farms, guys and girls. With that being said, love y'all so much. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. Dispatch, can show me on scene. 10-4, 10, 10 23. Is backup required? Negative. Roger.